All right, there we go. I um, think we should be live now. Uh, when I tell you guys, I've been sitting here for like five minutes talking to myself because I forgot to hit the go live button. Uh, that's my bad. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm like, dang, I'm like, what's going on? But what's good, everybody? Sorry for the delay. Uh, we in here with the... Uh, we in here with the, the college football mod. Uh, hopefully everything is, uh, you know, real, real clear and all that good stuff. My Again, my bad on the delay. Uh, I've been live for like the past 10 minutes, like, you know, just bringing everything up. Uh, and I didn't realize I forgot to hit hit, uh, hit live. So that's on me. Shout out to everybody in the chat early. See y'all. See y'all. Uh, SRT says use Caleb Williams. Malik says, can we get Florida versus Florida State? Um, those all sound like great ideas. Um, Drico, you said, do you think college football will come to PC next year? Um, that's a tough one. Like, didn't they announce the game already? Like, they didn't announce it for the platforms or whatever it was going to be on? What's it called? College. I'm Googling it right now. Oh, it's only for it's only for the consoles. No way. I didn't hear that. That's crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely not going to be playing that if that's the case. That is crazy. They announced it college football exclusive. They announced it console exclusive college football 25. I thought it was going to be college football 24. Oh, no, my bad. Summer 2024. So it'll be college football 25. Yeah, I'm not playing that. I, I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I could care less about that if I'm being honest with you. Um, but I know that they'll like mod the game on PC. And I mean, but I don't know if they'll be able to add all the features and stuff like the recruiting and all that. I don't know about all that. So that sucks for the people that want to play that game. But I, yeah, I won't be playing that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like Madden, but it's just like they do so much better stuff with the mods. Like, that's kind of what keeps me glued to it. Not for nothing. I mean, I'm not going to lie, though. Madden was pretty good. Uh, I mean, nah, I can't lie, guys. I was playing. Uh, I was playing the heck out of Madden 23 on on the PlayStation uh, with my sliders. So I, I can't sit here and act like I wouldn't won't play it. But I think I'll be too busy with Madden 20 like five. Uh, wait, yeah. What are they gonna call that game? Now I think about it, I forgot they already had a Madden 25, right? So that's interesting. Yeah, I was trying to uh, Google that really quick. College football 25 game PC release. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see. Uh, I mean, you know, there, there's a lot of there'll be a lot of talk and all that right now. But uh, until I see something, um, I, I know they were saying that game was in legal trouble. So I, I got to see it. You know, I got to see the the progress that they've made. You know, they're using the same engine as Madden. Like, you know, it's just, this is too far away for me. But I, yeah, I played the heck out of uh, NCAA. Um, what was it? The last one I played was 14. Made a slider set. It was great. You know, I had a lot of fun with it. But I'm not a big college football fan. So um, in terms of teams, though, I do root for uh, Florida State. So, that'll you know, that's a cool team. Um my uh, roommate was uh, in college was from Florida, so I mean, they were really good when I was in college, and they kind of won national championships. So he kind of put me on. 
Um, I'm just looking at the jerseys they got in here. That's tough. Yeah, I love the jerseys. They got a bunch of cool ones. You know I'm rocking these blacks, though. Uh, somebody said, can we do uh, Florida State versus Florida? We can do that. And I think the next one we'll do after that will be USC. USC Bama, I think somebody asked for. USC versus Bama. Nice. Yo, these, yo, Florida's jerseys are tough, low key. Can you do like all blue? That's tough too. It would help if they had blue socks though, not for nothing. Yeah, I mean, Mr. B, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I just know that's what they were saying in the chat. Uh, but um I you know we gotta see. I mean if what if Madden 24 does really good on PC? Like they they would be dumb to not uh to not include that. Yeah, let's guys let's start from the beginning. Let's take a look at all the teams that we got in here. Um again, guys, this is a beta. They don't have all the crap that they're supposed to have, or you know, or I don't even know. Uh but uh here's Alabama. Um, you know, those boys. They're a problem, usually. I don't think they're that good this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Um, Auburn. Shout out Cam Newton. I'm just trying to see if they got, like, alternate jerseys and stuff. This looks like their normal jersey, I, I guess. You know, a couple jersey options. Um, Clemson. Shout out to Sean Watson. Maybe not shout out, but he's the only Clemson player I know, so. Awkward. <laughs> Colorado, shout out to those boys. Here's their jerseys. Um, they were wearing these joints today. They're tough. Shout out T. Higgins. Yeah, let's let's do T. Higgins. Yeah, shout out T. Higgins. Uh, Florida, we showed that. Oh, yeah, and Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is my guy, for real. Um, Georgia, shout out the whole Eagles defense. <laughs> Y'all know how that goes. Georgia. Man, Georgia needs like some black uniforms. I feel like they'd be tough. Um, is this available to the general public? Yeah, yeah. They released it like a week ago, I think. Obviously, if you're on PC and you want a mod, it's it's there. Um, shout out Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, I mean Iowa. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You know what I mean? Levi, what's good? I see you in the chat. Thanks for supporting the channel, my man. Appreciate you. Shout out LSU. Shout out everybody from LSU. Every good wide receiver ever. Um, AKA wide receiver you. Um, Odell and all them boys. They got some cool jerseys in here. Uh, will modders be able to implement cyber faces? So... The answer to that question is yes, but I don't think anybody cares enough to make cyber faces. You know what I mean? Like, at least I don't. I, I mean, I don't know if people care about uh, cyber faces that much for the NFL. Like, bro, like, you know what I mean? Just because, like, they wear helmets. So it's like, I don't know if people are really into it for the guys that are missing. That's kind of the only thing. I think it'd be, like, a really big undertaking. But I mean, think about it, bro. Guys are adding like grills to dudes' teeth and tattoos and stuff. So we, the, I think the the texture editing possibility is there. But um, I don't think you know. I don't know if that's ever gonna uh, take off. Of course, Joe Burrow from LSU. You know it. And yeah, I mean, they were showing a picture. I saw this one picture of all the Alabama wide receivers too. That was just ridiculous how much talent they have in the league. From that wide receiver spot. Dang, this Michigan State joints are tough. Ole Miss. Who do we know that went to Ole Miss? I know uh Eli Manning. Uh what's his name? DK Metcalf. Oh, uh freaking uh AJ Brown on the Eagles. I think went to uh Ole Miss. 
Yeah, so they, you know, they got a nice... Oh, and uh, what's his name? Uh... No, no, no. I was thinking of somebody else. Never mind. I'm not sure. Mississippi State. Only person I know that went to is Mississippi State is uh, Dak Prescott. Didn't Dak Prescott go to Mississippi State? Or am I wrong? Oh, I was thinking DK, not AJ Brown. My bad. My bad. <laughs> NC State. I don't know anybody from NC State, but they got some tough jerseys, though. Look at the black. Look at the red. Oh, wow, wait, so they got black, red, and white helmets. Look at that. Wow. Um, Somebody in the chat asked if you can put these in franchise mode. Um, You can't as of right now. They crash. But I, I think they were saying in, uh, in the future you can. UNC. Boo, the Duke fan in me. Wow, look at their alts, though. Are you serious? This is nuts. Look at their alt. This is crazy. That's, whoa. Man, they got options. Yo, this goes crazy. Holy crap. Oh, man, God, y'all know I hate UNC. I'm going to be honest. As a Duke fan, I don't hate UNC because I'm not that passionate of a fan yet. Like, so I don't hate them that much, but I'm supposed to hate them. So I try to as much as I can. <laughs> That's crazy. Notre Dame. One thing I like about Notre Dame joints in the mod is they really, really sparkle. Um, I think Notre Dame, like in real life, they have a nice alternate, but... uh. It's not. They don't have it in the mod yet. Ohio State. Bunch of dudes went there. They got some blacks. Those are tough. Red. Man, like, that just shows how old I am, guys. Like, I remember when Terrell Pryor. Oh, uh-oh, something went wrong. They got the Redskins joints in here. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, look at this. They got... <laughs> This is a little, little wonky. You could play <laughs> as Washington, but oh, and okay, I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, <laughs> moral of the story: we got some stuff going on with Ohio State, uh, Oklahoma. Shout out all them quarterbacks: Jalen Hurts, Baker. Uh, what's the dude's name? Kyler Murray. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, look at that helmet. That's nuts. Look at the helmet. Sheesh. That's really tough. That's a tough helmet. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Who went to Oklahoma State? Um, Des Bryant? Didn't Des... Like, I don't even know anybody from Oklahoma State. Who went to Oklahoma State? The only person I can think of is Des Bryant. They got a bunch of options here, too. Look at that. Wow, look at this. Return NBA 24 and buy 23 for mods. I mean, on PC, if you bought 24, I don't know what you were thinking is 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 my actual response. But uh, nobody's playing 24. Like, um, all the people are still playing 23. Now, Oregon, I know they have 50 million uniform uh, combos in real life. They don't have as many in the mod. I'm sure they'll, you know add a lot more uh as the once the mod actually drops but they they got a bunch of heat um oregon's always been known for uh oregon states i've never heard of oregon state i have no idea who they are oregon state got the bright orange okay okay You know, shout out to them. I, I've never heard of them, though. I don't even know. Oh, my boys, the local, local kids. Hey, yo, Matt, what's good, man? Thanks for supporting my channel, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, oh, y'all know this might be low key running back. You, Miles, Miles Sanders, Saquon. Well, I don't know if those are the only two I can name. They used to be linebacker you, but I don't know if the good linebackers are still coming out of Penn State. Not sure. But, you know, local boys. 
Sheesh. The usual. I just love, I've always loved their their color color scheme. TCU, shout out uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. Who else went to TCU? Whoa, look at this helmet. Oh, yeah, of course, Micah Parsons. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. What's up, Alton? Thanks for supporting my channel, my man. Look at this helmet. Holy crap. Trace McSorley. Sheesh. Oh man, they got they got jersey options for days. Wow. Tough, tough, tough. Uh Tennessee. Somebody, let me scroll up. Somebody asked, is Wisconsin in here? I think so. I think I saw them. Um, Tennessee. Tennessee. Only person I know from Tennessee is Peyton Manning, really. Who else went to Tennessee? They got the usual. Texas. Bunch of dudes went to Texas. Shout out Vince Young. And M. Johnny Football. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all had to be there. I'm sorry. Yo, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Every, yo, like, I'm sorry. Like, what Dion and them are doing right now for, uh, like, college football in Colorado, bro. Johnny Manziel was doing that, bro. That like, bro, they was a movie back in the day. Whoo, my goodness. Um, A and M. Uh, they said they're missing some alternate uh, jerseys for A uh, and M. Who knows? Maybe they'll uh, they'll get them back. Texas Tech. Shout out Patty Mahomes. I already know. I don't think I know anybody else that went to Texas Tech. To be honest with you. Uh, Salah, I don't actually use a reshade, bro. If you just hit up the NVIDIA control panel and uh, put everything like vibrance at 100, you get a dope color scheme. UCLA. Dang, these joints is nice. Who went to UCLA? Oh, yeah, Crabtree. Michael Crabtree, the wide receiver back in the day. Facts. Man, these UCL joints is tough. I just like their shoot UCLA first and foremost. They jerseys in basketball are crazy, so they just got a they just got an awesome uh, color scheme in general. Now that I look at it, because they joints go hard in uh, basketball too. Shout out Lonzo Aikman UCLA. That's dope. USC. Everybody went to USC, but shout out the goat Reggie Bush. Yeah, a TBR made a reshade, and, like, I'm so lazy, bro. Like, I wanted to cover it. I should have covered it, bro, but I'm so lazy. I didn't feel like it. Like, because, like, my game looks great, so I'm like, I don't run reshade. Uh, we got Utah. I got no, I don't know anybody from Utah, but they got some nice uniforms. Got the black, red, and white. The all whites, white and red. So they they got some big time. Look at the red. Look at the the helmet. That joint's tough. Hollywood, what's good, man? Oh, Alex Smith went to Utah. No way. Uh, Malik, bro, where did uh, where did uh Juju Smith Schuster go? Steve Smith went to Utah. That's insane to me. Why would he go to Utah? I mean, hey, shout out. He was he was literally great. Um, holy crap, guys. Steve Smith. If if y'all don't know Steve Smith, man, like I just gotta pause. Like, he does not actually get he does not get the credit he deserves as being a literal all-time great receiver, bro. That dude was a literal menace to society, bro. Like, if y'all don't know Steve Smith, that man was a menace to society. Oh man, um, Jimbo and Matt. I, I forget if I said it already, but thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate y'all. Uh, Dev, you said what's my PC specs? Uh, shoot, uh, I got an eighty seven hundred K CPU uh, and a thirty eighty Ti um, GPU. Um, bunch of SSDs and crap, you know. Uh, Wisconsin, what are they? The Badgers, I think. Shout out to them. They're in here. Got a couple jerseys. Yeah, look at it. I like their pants. Their pants are tough. 
I like the pants. Whoa. Is this a thing? Do they wear this? Holy crap. Look at that. That's tough. I, I, I love their pants. That joint is cold. Tyreek Hill is Steve Smith 2.0. Just in the terms of like they they dominate in terms of size, but Steve Smith, bro, was just like so strong. Like, what is this? This is like a like a placeholder team. I don't even know what this is. Whoa. What was that? What's this? Huh. Yeah, some type of like a uh, placeholder or something. That's cool. This is a cool jersey. Um, all right. Anywho, uh, let's get into it. Um, I think we said we're going to do Florida State versus uh, Florida first. And uh, then we're going to come back and do, what did we say? USC versus uh, Bama? We'll do USC versus Bama. Um, and, you know, get some heat going. So, uh, y'all know I'm rolling with uh, my Seminoles. And I say that as the most casual uh, fan ever. Shout out Jameis Winston and EJ Manuel. That's where I'm at. I don't even know who the new dudes are. But, um, hey, Wes Almighty, man. Thanks for the $2 donation, bro. I appreciate the support, man. You said, should you stay on 2K23 with mods or switch to 2K24? So, let me ask you a question there. Would you go to 24 on next gen or would you stay on PC? Because if you're talking about PC, absolutely the crap not. Stay on 23, um, in my opinion. Yo, Vaughn, what's good, bro? See you in the chat. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all don't even know how stupid the defensive line was. That just defense in general, bro. Kelvin Benjamin, the wide receiver guys, y'all don't even get Kelvin Benjamin. Low-key Kelvin Benjamin, bro, not for nothing. That boy was a wide receiver. He was like 6'4", 260 pounds. I don't know what they weighed him in at. I don't care what anybody says. That man was never below 250, bro. That man was never below 250. I don't care what anybody's talking about. Loved him, though. He was a literal beast uh, in college, but he kind of ate himself out the league. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, you know, once uh, once he got to the big leagues. So, yeah, like I said, guys, remember, it's still a mod, guys. It's all like still going to be NFL stuff. Um, Alton, do you think it's worth buying a console for 2K24? That's a very difficult question to answer. Uh, I, you guys know me. Y'all been asking me this question for so long. I don't like the word worth because worth is subjective. Worth it for me? Yes, because putting out YouTube videos makes me money. But in terms of fun, no. No, I, I, I it's not a big enough difference. Like, ultimately, bro, I think 2K on PC with mods is better than 2K on console without mods. That's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. Now, you guys know me. I bought my console only to play. What, like, come on, guys. Like, well, I just hit the PlayStation button thinking I'm, I'm on a PS5. My bad. But I bought my console just to play what? What games do I play on console? We play uh, 2K, Horizon, Forbidden West. Like, bro, guys, I play no console games. Like, everything else I'm playing on PC. So, to answer the question, I don't think it's worth it, but if there are specific games, oh, God of War is Heat. Um, am I missing anything? Are there any other good console games? Wait, hold on, guys. Let me switch my audio. Like, unless you're making content, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I can like you guys get me what I'm saying, right? Like I can't like I told people if it was up to me, I would be playing 2K16 right now. But I can't just like as much as I would love to, I can't just put up a freaking 2K16 video and think it's gonna get views because it's not. Like that's just the reality of the situation. It's just not realistic. So, all right, guys, let's get into this. Um, yeah, I thought that was Tebow for a second. Sheesh. 
I guess college players don't uh, retire jer- I guess college teams don't retire jerseys, huh? Because Anthony Richardson was rocking 15. This guy's rocking 15. So. All right, let me just uh, make sure all my crap is straight. Madden, boom, boom. Visual feedback. I like all of this stuff to be off. Oh, Lamar Jackson's joint. Meanwhile, for our visitors, of course, winning on the road never is retired. That's cool. Where'd he go? Louisiana? Wait, is Louisiana in the game? I don't think I saw them. Yo, 82 looks big as crap. Oh, shoot. He almost took that. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets some three more. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. I am I a baseball fan. Uh, so like the thing about baseball, I don't watch baseball until October. So red October, go Phillies. But now I'm a baseball fan. <laughs> Are these not at real FSU jerseys? I didn't realize. <laughs> oh no! He ran right by me. TJ, you said swipe. What you mean? What you mean swipe? What is that? In for a tough matchup. What do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most. Oh, they, this might be problematic, fam. They running it. They running on me. Brew crew, brew crew are taking it this year. That's the Bruins, Milwaukee. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really follow it that hard, but I know some of the teams. Oh no! I'm glad he tackled them. Hey, Wes, man. Thanks uh, thanks for the dollar, my man. I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the channel, bro. Good for 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all the Oh, no, 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 TJ. It, it comes with the mod. I, I didn't do anything to the mod, so the mod is uh, as it is. I haven't changed anything. Uh, Bucks, I'm playing with Sabo's uh, gameplay mod right now so it's it's not sliders but it is modded modded uh gameplay so what i want to show you guys right here on this clip really quickly is i'm the control in the right end bro look at their blocking these dudes just moved me across the whole field look at the hole and i really wish 27 would have cut it up but he bounced it out and kind of ran right into the dude Because they've been pushed right down the field on this. All right, let's see if we can get a stop here. There it is. All right. They're in goal from the 10. Just play some defense, guys. Uh, did I get the mod from the MMC? Yes. Yeah, the college football mod. I, I'm, I, I hope I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's out for everybody now. I think it's out for everybody. Hey, Wes, man. Thank you so much for the two. Appreciate you, my boy. Oh, give me that sack. Oh, my God. That was almost crazy. Thanks for the support, Wes, man. All right. Block this kick, guys. I need it. Block it. Oh, crap. We didn't block it, man. I thought he almost missed that crap, but we're all good. Hey, yo, my man, Aramis came through with a 20. Holy crap, man. Thanks for supporting the channel. What's good, man? It's good to see you. I hope you got my notification this time, man. <laughs> I don't know why I took this out. I definitely didn't get where I needed to go. Oh, get up. I say, yo, Aramis, bro, if you need a jump shot or have a request, man, please let me know, bro, so I can give it back. 
give back to you, man. I appreciate you. Wes, you said, will 2K24 mods grow or just keep modding 23? Um, I do not think they are going to grow because uh, a lot of people are not playing the game. Okay, that option did not work. Uh, if you go look at the Steam charts and like look at the numbers, like a lot of people aren't playing. So there's more people on 23 than are on 24. So. Oh, why didn't he catch that? Come on. I'm selling on offense. Let's get a good play here. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had Curtis, what's up, man? Whoa. Great catch. Here comes the GOAT, Jordan Travis. Is he good? Is this our boy? Is this our quarterback right now? Let's go. I want to hit circle, but this that, that route is way too deep. Looking to throw, Travis. Drop. Um, Curtis, you said 2K is feeling good. Nice, man. I, I've got a uh, I got a, a update. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about the sliders. I got a pretty big update coming tonight. Is the plan? Oh, where are my blockers? Sheesh. All right, third and eleven. Can we make it happen? I'm trying to look for the tight end. Brought some pressure. I'm rolling. Wide open. I was trying to truck him. Uh, Matt, you said, uh, oh, wait, hold on, Cody, you were saying, how do I make the colors pop? Um, go in your NVIDIA control panel and uh, turn your vibrance all the way up. Okay, Florida defense. Uh, you uh, And Malik, for now, you cannot edit gear in the mod at all. It just loads a uh, like a preloaded roster. Yo, this dude just threw the ball literally right to the wrong dude. What am I looking at? That was weird. It's third down. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this. Third and eight. I don't. I don't want to run this. It's audible real quick. Oh, this is a little sus. If I'm being honest with you guys. Looking to throw. Ah. Holy crap. That dude is fast. He got me too. Should have threw it away. Oh, yeah, Ramis. We get in uh, Ingram for sure. I was, it's funny. I was actually playing with the Pelicans last night. His jump shot is crazy trash. Like, it's the same as it's always been. Complete trash. I'm thinking my one should transfer well, but I don't know what any of the releases are. Oh my god, guys, I just make Oh I I literally timed it right this time and still missed the kick. I'm selling. Power UG, what's up, man? Thanks for uh supporting the channel, bro. And they definitely move the ball well. That's a drive where you hate to come away with nothing. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They've got a three-nothing lead and the Oh, we gotta pick that. Uh, let me real quick, let me put my, uh, let me put my adjustments up. Uh, what do I usually be doing overall? What do we do? And then we do match. Boom. All right. Second and ten. Oh, for sure, Ramis. If it works for you, I think I'm going to go live Monday on 2K. Um, I wanted to do tomorrow. Actually, I wanted to stream 2K tonight, but I, I wanted to also stream Madden because I couldn't stream Madden the other day because uh, my stream PC was messed up. So I got everything got pushed back a little bit, but I think I'm busy tomorrow. Um, oh, that's us. Oh, I thought that'd be a pick. All good. All good. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to stream 2K Monday night. 
That's the plan. That's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. Uh, please block two. Please block two. Gosh, that punt had hella hang time. Eight yards on the return following a punt of Power UG men, this game feels really good. Um, but it's this is Sabo's gameplay mod. So this play is more like an NFL game than a college game. Like it's not as open, it's not as fast, you know what I mean? There's way more scoring in uh Colorado. Power UG though, what I wanted to ask you though was did do you have 24? Like do you have 2K24? I was curious if you got a chance to try my sliders. Thank you. So I, he ran right by him. Uh, yes, Doughboy. Uh, Colorado. Um, yeah, man. I made like uh, I made like two videos on Colorado, bro. If you look on my channel, I got I posted one earlier. Uh, yeah, I, I made a couple a uh, couple videos um, on uh, Colorado already. I think. Gosh, guys, I just gotta learn how to kick field goals, and we'll be straight. Touchdown. What? Is a penalty? I think it's going to be a legal man downfield. Dang, guys. Uh, Cam the fan, we're doing... Next up, we're doing USC versus... What did we say? Oh, give me that edge. Cut. Nice. Uh, next, we're doing. Who did we say? Uh, USC versus Bama. Um, and I, I don't know. Yeah, because I got to get out of here. I'm probably only going to play two games. Um, but next time. Next time. Uh, hello? Somebody break open? Nah. This play is like really weird because it's like not what the art is. Blitz is coming from the right. Okay. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. I'm gonna try and run it. Should I run it? Maybe I shouldn't run it. I'm gonna try. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Sheesh. They were all over that crap. I, if I would have kept it or handed it off, and my I think my running back got hurt, so that's not good. Oh man, Aramis, bro! I, I I want yo. Thanks for the twenty, man. Listen, I I wanted to do the Ingram just for man. All you've been supporting to the channel, but my guy turned up again. I appreciate you, man. For for real, man. I really do. Holy crap, dude. Everybody put a W in the chat for Aramis, man. Dude is carrying right now. <laughs> I appreciate you. And seriously, though, shout out to Aramis, man. Everybody that supports, man. Let me look back through, bro. Um, Aramis, Wes. Uh, I appreciate both of you guys, man. For real. But yeah, we're going to, um for 2K, we we literally, we, we got, I, I'm serious. Like, Ingram... It's just hard, man. I, I don't want to. You guys know me. I don't like just complaining. Um, I, but his jump shot is crazy. Like his jump shot in the game is actually crazy. Like it's one of the worst. Uh oh, this guy's got some speed to him. Uh, so Mr. B, uh, this camera that you're looking at right here is the modded camera. The camera that I use on offense is just the basic wide camera a power ug hold on bro i, I might have might have missed you it's a little hard to read the chat it's easier to read the chat on uh when you're playing 2k than madden because you try not to screw up um oh you were saying you've got 2k in uh oh crap what did i do As long as he doesn't break that tackle, that's good. Yeah, I think I was asking if you had got a chance to uh, to try the my sliders, the, the latest ones I had put out. 
And if you haven't, well, don't, because I'm putting more out tonight. So. <laughs> Their run game is not it. Um, you said you wonder if there's going to be a gameplay mod for the college mod. Honestly, bro, if you just put the threshold at zero, it would probably do it, you know? It's just because, like, you know what I mean? Like, you just got to open the game up a little bit more. Big hit. But, oh, it's some of the coolest stuff, though, uh, that I meant to say uh, about the mod, though. Like, it does have, like, gameplay changes, like, for college. Like, there's some stuff about the way the clock stops. Oh, give me that scene, baby. That's a good return right there. Love that. Nice. But, um, yeah, so, like, for example, when you catch the ball, you only have to have one foot in bounds. So, like, there's a bunch of cool stuff like that in the mod. Speed option? Uh, there's no way this works. Oh, it did. That was cool. Uh, I'm so lucky I got rid of that. I had circle wide open, but I was too late seeing him. Let's get a handoff in. I don't run the ball enough. Oh, I thought I had a hole there. Not good. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Ah, that was tough. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a do the mods work on the 10-hour demo for Madden? Uh, I don't... I don't know how... I don't like you would just have to get the demo and then so oh he he roughed me this one's away. wait I'm confused what just happened did he touch the football Wait, did y'all just see that? It's his first and ten on the. Yo, I'm so lost right now. Time out, time out. Did did he touch that ball? Well, they have the yards anyway, so they're going to decline the penalty. I think he touched that ball, bro. I think he touched that ball. No, 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 no. The returner. Look at the returner. I think they're counting this as a fumble. <laughs> Yo, I think they're going to try and say the ball hit number seven. I think that's what they're saying. I think they're saying it hit. No, no, no. But dude, look at the they gave me the ball at the 14. Unless that was. For, oh, am I tripping? Was it? Yes. No, they're calling that a fumble, bro. They gave me the the ball at the fourteen. Mid the fifteen yard penalty would have put it at the thirty five. They touched that guy's helmet. That's that's just bad luck on their part. That's crazy. Up the middle they go, Benson, and here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six yard gain on the ground. I mean, hey, we take it either way. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay up. I just tried to fade. I don't know why I thought that would work. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
gotta be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10 yard line. Alright, let's see what we got. Zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. There it is. My college team is Florida State, actually. Uh Power UG, that's what's up. So I'm uh I'm dropping I'm gonna drop a uh update to my 2K sliders tonight. I don't know why I can't see the kick meter, but I'm going to try and kick this. This is weird. Nailed it. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't know why I can't see the kick meter. But, yeah, I'm going to drop an update to um, the set tonight. And definitely, you know, let me know what you think. Um Well, yeah, Dev, I know what roughing the kicker is, man, but I'm saying if it was roughing the kicker, I was punting from I was punting from the 50, right? So if it was roughing the kicker, I would have got the ball at the 45. Or no, can't count. The 35. They gave me the ball at the 14 because it touched that guy's helmet. Because, you know, obviously if, uh, if it touches them during the punt, it counts as a fumble. So that was a really weird, interesting play, but... Florida State's been through it these past couple years. Hey, man, I'm casual, so I wasn't there. That's the point. I just stopped following college football while they sucked. <laughs> oh, you got to pick that. Come on now. Uh, Curtis, how was uh, my experience with the changes? Uh, really good, I think. Um... Really good, really good. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Need that. But no, Power UG, that's what I'm saying. They gave me the ball at their 14 instead of the, their 35. So you, you decline it because of the fumble for sure. Uh oh, guys. Florida is in it. Florida might be in trouble. And I'm making my kicks, guys. This is this is a wrap. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> uh, so Curtis, most of the changes we talked about already. Um, we lowered the three point tendency because that was some bull crap. Like it was way, literally, way too high. Um, and honestly, bro, I forgot what else I did. Not gonna lie, forgot. Um, I raised the mid range tendency because I, I didn't feel like they were pulling, taking enough middies. Um, I knew who was gonna try and keep that. Nah, bro, we there. Look at this Florida. Look at this Florida State. Look at this Florida State defense. Like, like I said, I feel like it's 2012. Like, let's go. Oh crap. This will be a 41 yard punt, three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Hold on, hold on. My comment is hidden. Um Aramis, you said that they dropped Ingram's rating? How did they drop his rating? They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better. Uh, Curtis, when you say step backs, what do you mean? On second down, it's Benson, and he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. 
No, Power UG, that's what I'm saying, bro. So look, 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 you get what I'm saying? So we were punting from the 50, right? Pun from the 50. They called a 15-yard penalty from where the kicker was rough. So if they called the 15-yard penalty, it would have given me the ball at the 35. But because he touched the ball up at the 14, like all the way up here, and I declined it, they gave me the ball right here as opposed to being back here. That's what I meant when I was saying that I declined it. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. Because I got a third and long here. Um, let's see what we can do through the air. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going. Nice. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And what I want to show you guys, this is with Sabo's mod, not the college mod, but like, guys, it literally, like, this is my favorite change with the mod. Look at the line. Like, you, it, they literally form a pocket. Like, this crap is beautiful. You can step up, make your throw. Like, you really feel like you're playing quarterback. Like, you can step up. Like, I just love the changes that he made. Like, it's... This is just an awesome mod, and when you get pressure, you can you can step up. Like, it's awesome. I love it. So, Curtis, what I did there, um, I know exactly what you mean because we were seeing it a lot on the stream. I adjusted the uh, the driving layup tendency a little bit. I went up ten on that. Um, so when I share. Uh, I just got to type everything out again. But when I repost, you'll see that I made a, a quick change to the tendencies. And I thought that helped a lot. Um, and then after that, I'm going to just look and see, like, how the heck do these sliders play with the ATD rosters? Because I'm wondering, like, if maybe it would be just be a better idea to just put my badge changes. Touchdown. Oh, I didn't see the safety. Frick. Oh, he should have picked that. I did not see the safety. I, I thought he just ran all the way by him. All right, let's punt it. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball I think I timed that wrong. Shady, what do you think about Ryan Moody? Uh, I don't think about Ryan Moody. Missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll go down at the 26, following a game of <laughs> like. six. <laughs> From the 26, oh, man. they'll line up on second and four. I'm just going to leave that right there. This dude going to snap the ball? What are you doing, my boy? Pick, pick, pick. No way. Wow. It's a big play there. No way. 50 yards. Uh, so often we're watching a football game. We see one with a lot of wow. blows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Uh, he gives you credit for showcasing mods. Can I ask you a question? A, a question why do i need credit for showcasing mods i don't need credit i get paid to do it touchdown sheesh that was a great drive by them i don't need i don't need credit from him i i get paid you know what i mean that's the only credit i need um all i need is for people to watch and like <laughs> i don't need credit um <laughs> you know what i mean like uh, i don't do any of this stuff for credit it's that's not why we do it What's wrong with Ryan Moody just asking? Uh, I'm a Christian, so I don't think anything's wrong with anybody. I love everybody. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. But he asked the question, what do I think about him? And I just said, I don't think about him. It's simple as that. Um, you know, I don't really know how else to answer that. He's a guy. I'm a guy. And that's it. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm doing it. Matter of fact, sheesh, this boy is fast. That's not a late hit. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person, like, I let you guys have those conversations. I'm not getting involved in none of that. I, you know what I mean? I just, you know, I don't, I don't get involved in that type of stuff. Oh, that was a good... I don't need to do a Hail Mary. I got nine seconds. I can just do a quick slant. Yeah, like, let me just do a quick slant real quick. I just got to try and get in field goal range. Oh, crap. That should have been picked. I'm lucky. Time out. Time out. Okay. All right, let's just do a Hail Mary and get out of here. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. See who we got. Travis. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. Oh, shoot. I thought he caught that. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> that was almost crazy. Uh, Moody, a good dude. That's an opinion. Um, <laughs> Salah, you said he's always complaining about Madden instead of trying to have fun with the game. He should probably just accept the fact that EA won't listen to him. Yeah. Um, I mean, hey, could you not say the same thing about me in 2K? Like, I complain a lot about 2K, so... That's, you know, one can say the same about me and 2K. So, but what's, you know, what's, what's the difference? Is there a difference? It depends on who you ask, I guess. Man, Cyber Face has got to be a thing. Yeah, I think it's all about, uh, I think it's all about the, the talent. You know, people got to want to do it. And do we have the talent in the community that wants to do it? Oh, shoot. No, no, get it. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me, bro. That's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. No, I should have just ran it. He ran right by me. I didn't think he was. I thought he was trying to tackle me. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. So, yes, Curtis, that's a good point. We've talked about it a lot. It comes up a lot. I mean, people want to know. They want to know for some reason what I think about, you know, him for some reason. I don't know. Um, I know he had made a video about my, my channel and, you know, I, I, I had some opinions on that, but um you know uh that kind of was what it was um you know that's 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 really is not a lot to say i i don't you know i'm just not really big on just sitting here if you don't have anything good to say don't say anything that's kind of how i roll um but i just you know, a lot of people don't know, like, the details. A lot of people don't know how long I've been in this community, I think, is the problem. Like, they think I'm new, so it's just weird. Like, like a lot of people don't realize, like, I actually started as a... Well, that's a bad pass. Yikes. Like, people don't know I actually started YouTube because of Madden and NCAA football. So, this is just my return. Um, I don't know, you know, would I feel the same way he feels if... If I hadn't, if I had been in the community the whole time, uh, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You guys are watching me sell. Taking a shot here. I, I want to get under this safety. Uh, it's there. I knew it would be there too. I knew it would be there. Why do you have 27,000 subs, but 36 uh, people are here? Um, I mean, dude, what I'll say to that is 36 people is a lot. 
you know, like that's a lot of people. And so don't ever forget that. Like, I always think of it like this, man. Like, think about yourself in a room, like, and if you just say, yo, guys, like, I'm going to be here talking, like, could you get 36 people IRL to just pull up, like, and spend their time and their night with you? You know what I mean? So I, I'm really appreciative of everybody that's here, man, and want to keep growing. So if you, you guys know anybody that might, you know, be interested in this type of content, pull up, you know. But, you know, I'm, I'm thankful regardless. <laughs> Sliderologist, I love that term. <laughs> Uh, Moody has some valid points. I think everybody has valid points. You know what I mean? I think everybody does. But I also think intent matters. I think the truth matters. Um, I think wanting the game to be good matters. You guys, like, like I, just like while I'm here and like you guys are listening to me, I, I hope, like, I hope, like, I'm, I want to know what you guys, I want to know what you guys think. So if I had the choice, right, do you guys think I would rather 2K sucked or do you think I'd rather 2K be good? Like, I just honestly, like, answer the question. Like, do you guys think I'd rather 2K be bad or 2K be good? Like, I'm curious what you guys think. Oh, I'm hitting my kicks today, baby. Ooh. Alton, yes, a hundred percent, bro. That's that's the that's the real behind it, and I appreciate that. That's the facts. So Curtis, yes, good. So you have less work to do every year. Cloud, good, of course. So let me ask another question. I'm a human being who has bought every single 2K since 2K2. I think it's obvious I like 2K and enjoy it. I, I am passionate about it. I like it. I have a channel about it. I, I guess so. I got to make a point now after I said all that bull crap. But I'm just not sure. Like, I'm sorry if I'm stumbling over my words. What I'm saying here is... Maybe I just want to give some advice. Don't listen to people's opinions on games that don't play the games, that don't love the games, and the only reason is because they get paid. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? And, and I've said that like for a long time, that I, I think that we have a problem with Madden and the community where it's just people say bad stuff about the game because it's what everybody else said. Um, you guys got to understand there's like a point of no return where you get to the point where you're making content like, oh, 2K sucks. 20, you know, if I'm making content that like 2K sucks 24 seven, like for example, this is a better example for people that follow me on Twitter. Like you guys know I'll bash 2K every now and again, but you guys also see, I say, well, hey, this is what I'm working on with my sliders. Oh, he, that was a play action. I thought he handed it off. So just, that's all I'm gonna say is be careful of who you listen to um, because people have different motives for different reasons. It's just like real life, you know, in media. Um, people lean one way and other people lean another for different reasons. I appreciate that, Alton. Because that's, that's, that's how it should be. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I ain't going to get into it, but y'all should see some of the, the comments I've gotten on this channel, on social media, just because I started playing Madden. Which, you know, which is why I started making changes to the channel. Um... Oh, you get those hooks, man. They always get those hooks. Um, so it's, you know, it's tough. It's tough. But that, that's my only advice, guys. Just be, be careful, man, with, with who you listen to when it comes to this stuff. Because a lot of people don't really care about these games. A lot of people don't put the effort into it. They're just here for a check. Back 
I cannot get a pass rush. I'm like, man, if he, if he, if he uh, completes that. And I told you guys, if it were, if I was not a content creator, I would not have bought. Um, I would not have bought uh, 24. Like I'm, I'm, I'm that, uh, I'm that fed up with what they've been doing. That was good pressure. That's going to be a pretty long field goal for them. Can they tie it? Let's see. Yes, they can. Bro, I agree with you. I do think the run game should be better. Young assist. What's good, man? I see you. <clears throat> and yeah, so look, look at the chat. So we got a bunch of people bought every 2K from the beginning. Like we, we know, man, like we, we've been in here. Like now this offense comes back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch. I'm not sure what college football revamped this. Remember, they did put points on If I'm being honest with you. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. I think I had triangle miss them. I think I had triangle and missed them. Oh, I was really zoomed in. Well, they, I mean, nah. I mean, I, I could have tried to fit this in there, but they got that safety. That would have been tough. I mean, that's, I, I, I mean, look, I'm not getting too much into this stuff, but my opinion right now is that Madden is better than 2K. You should see some of the messages I've gotten after making that stance public. Kill yourself, blah, blah, blah. Like, like a bunch of crazy stuff. Like, oh, dang. I, I just, it, like, if people don't see it, you can't help them. The monetization. Look on my channel. I made a, I made a video. It's called 2K's Monetization. I'm lucky that wasn't picked. I made a video. It's called 2K's Monetization is Crazy. And that video has got like, like, like a thousand views or something like that. People don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the truth. Oh, okay. We out. Uh, the monetization... The monetization of 2K has has gotten insane. It, it's not even a lot. It's like insane, and and people just ignore it. So it's tough. Gosh, we really need to score on this drive, fam. We got single coverage up top. We got to take a shot. Um, I'll put. Yeah, you know, we got single coverage. Oh, he's got that. Oh. Should have threw it. Should have threw it earlier. Oh, I got hit as I threw. Uh oh. I literally can't see my kick meter, so let's see if we can knock this through. Give us the lead. That boy is kicking today. Let's go. I'm still giving the 2K the W over Madden. However, the monetization is way worse. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, just is somebody I got. Like, I think I got like 100 plus hours in Madden. I got over 100 hours in 2K. I'm going the other way with that one. Oh, and the crazy thing is a lot of the my career guys are even starting to feel left out. They, they're just catering to the park guys because oh, those are the dudes that do the microtransactions. Uh, Dev, you said, uh, in your opinion, you feel like 2K could develop a better football game than EA. Uh, I, I just I don't know what that would be based off of. I, I don't know what you would have to explain to me what you've seen recently 
that would give you that confidence. So you you need to either explain to me what you've seen from EA that you don't like, that you feel 2K could do better, or you'd have to explain to me what you saw from 2K that you do like that Madden's not doing now. Because I, I I just I don't I I don't understand how anyone could say that right now. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but all that is opinion. It's just not fact or anything. It's just opinion. Oh my gosh, we got him again. We got him again. We got him again. We got him again. Yes. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that clip too, baby. Oh my goodness. So, Emmanuel, you know, all, all Pro Football 2K8 is the only proof you need. Actually, I'm going to explain to you why you're wrong. So, or sorry, no, I said all, and that's Emmanuel. So, listen, the funny thing about what you just said is you, there's some assumptions in that statement. You assume that all pro football can maintain its say physical greatness in terms of how good it was with physics and its graphic fidelity. See, the reason people don't play all pro football and NFL 2K5 anymore is because the games look like crap. The graphics don't hold up. That's the problem. So you're just assuming that 2K, number one, has the same developers. They don't. You're assuming that 2K has the same priorities. They don't. So you're just assuming that every game after All Pro Football 2K8 would have followed the same formula, and it wouldn't, because every game after NBA 2K11 didn't follow the same formula. Every game after NBA 2K16 didn't follow the same formula. Every game after NBA 2K20 did not follow the same formula. So sitting here and talking about, I mean, I mean, goodness, like a 15 year old game at this point thinking that 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 those developers are walking through that door is foolish to me you have to look at 2k24 you have to look at the fact that they have no player likeness updates you have to look at the fact that they cannot get physics or any type of motion right that's what you have to look at don't sit here and tell me about a 15 year old game and say that they can make a better game than what I'm playing right now in 4K, 60 FPS with mods. I, I can't let you do that one. So, all pro football is proof of the only thing all pro football is proof of is 2K's fall off. Those guys that made that game are not here. So I'm, and I'm sorry, I, I hate to I hate to break it to you. Those those guys are not here. They're not coming back either. With a good chunk of time on the clock. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And he's got his big tight end here. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 at a first down. Back to throw here. And one thing I'll say too, I mean, this is this is the hot take. So that that's just the facts. That's just the facts. But I'll also give you the hot takes. How about this? I'm enjoying Madden 24 with mods more than all pro football without. I think from a gameplay perspective, it's just better. That that that's my hot take. Now that is subjective, but that's just that's just how I feel. Um, with with mods, we're there. Without mods, we're close. Um, and because I, I don't I don't know. And like, that's kind of like what I was saying to start off. Like a lot of people have strong opinions on the game. But like, how much time have these people put into the game? I, I don't I don't I don't know. I, I can only speak on my actual experiences. Um, and I can tell you. Oh, crap. He's open. No, I can tell you guys Madden without mods with. Oh yeah, it's it's close. It's close. It's that it's very close. And you can go to my slider set. Go go to the go to the comments on my sliders. And if you're if you're telling me Madden 24 with my slider set is not close in all pro football 2K8, I I don't know what I don't know what you I don't know what you're going for on that. That's just not true. I'm sorry. It's just not it's not true. 
It's, it's very close. Like I'm just saying from a gameplay perspective. Now you you can get into a, a lot of other stuff in terms of the features, and so it's like. Would I buy a football game developed by 2K? I mean, yes, because I can buy the game and make one YouTube video and then, you know, we've already made the money back that we got for the game. So you can't, you know what I mean? So obviously I would buy it. I would buy any actual competitor to Madden because I, I, I am a believer that competition breeds excellence. So pick, pick. This game is over, baby. Give me that. This game's over. Listen. I'll buy any game that's competition. I told you I buy NBA Live. I buy All Pro Football, 2K25, whatever they come out with. I'm a believer competition breeds excellence. So I like Madden, so I would love to see 2K make a football game to push them. I like 2K, so I'd love to see EA make a live to push them and do the things that the other company can't or won't do. Um but I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not like I'm not gonna sit here and, and listen to guys say that Madden 24 is actually I'll go a step further if we're if we're doing hot takes let's do all the hot takes Madden 23 with my slider set is just as good as those two games NFL 2k5 and all pro football 2k8 those two games with my sliders are just as good and they have way better graphics. Whatever they're lacking from a gameplay perspective, Madden what makes up for in graphics. So that's that's where I'm at. Those are those are my hot takes. But everyone's gonna have their own opinions. I don't know why I did this option again after I had that fumble earlier in the game. Now, if you're on PC, of course, play the game with the mods, obviously. But I I'm not going to sit here and, and listen to the... No oh, crap. That's a lot of pressure. Sheesh. Yeah, uh, JB, that's 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 nonsense, and I'll tell you why it's nonsense. You made an assumption there. You made an assumption that no one has ever made a physics-based tackling game. They did. Oh crap! I didn't mean to light that guy up like that. Uh, have you guys ever heard of a game called Backbreaker? Has anyone ever heard in this chat heard of the game called Backbreaker? Anybody? That, that's that's what I want to know. Have have we played Backbreaker? Okay, so a couple people in the chat have played Backbreaker. Can anyone tell me now where is Backbreaker? Where is Backbreaker? Why is there not another Backbreaker? Does any like can anyone tell me why we don't have Backbreaker anymore? No, it's because the game was trash. <laughs> it was simple as that. The game was trash. And it had physics based everything. Everything in the game was physics based. It was trash. Uh, a lot of people don't know. What was it? Madden 13? Was it Madden 13? Was uh, Was it Madden 13 had full real time physics? Uh, I think it was 13. Or Who was on the cover of. No, because. 18 was Brady on the cover, right? No, I'm talking about Madden 13. I'm trying to think. I, I thought it was 13. But one of those Maddens that year... One of those Maddens that year had full real-time physics. I, I feel like it was 13, but maybe it wasn't. I could be wrong. But one of those Maddens... Oh, my God. Tackle him. What are we doing? One of those Maddens had full real-time physics. And I'm sorry. It was not good. It, it, you know what I mean? It, it, it was not good. Um, Real-time physics is a buzzword that a lot of people use to try to say it's necessary for a great football game. It's never been necessary for a great football game. It wasn't necessary for Madden 05. wasn't necessary for Madden 04. wasn't necessary for Madden 08. 
the respect of momentum, the respect of of weight, of course, needs is important and needs to be more featured in these games. But you don't need real time physics. That's simply a buzzword that people have went to to try to keep ripping on Madden for not implementing something they want. Because correct me if I'm wrong, I don't I don't think all pro football and NFL 2K5 had real time physics. And if it did, it was an extremely holy crap. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this edge. I throw that away. I need a good drive here. Madden, you're still playing Madden 10 with Fitz and Paul Mal on the cover. Can I ask why? Like. Like, why would you still be playing <laughs> Madden 10? <laughs> I actually hated that game. Uh, that game was Madden 10 was the one where they they introduced that like overhead catch animation. And it's like the only catch animation that ever triggers. It's I, I hated that game for that very reason. I'm going to hand this one off. Do we really get a penalty, bro? What the heck? Dude, this game. Holy crap. So that's not good. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to lie. I love listening to your terrible takes, but I got to lock in here and try and get this dub. Big block from the lineman there. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And it's defense. Every sport. Uh, well, Curtis, that's what I was trying to get to with the all pro. Sorry, with the uh, backbreaker. Uh, the backbreaker uh, reference there. Like, you know what I mean? The, the game needs. Oh, he overthrew him. Oh, you got to be kidding me, guys. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. There's no way I just missed that throw. But yeah, I, 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 my, my advice to those guys that are going to sit here in 2023 and 2024 and harp on All Pro Football 2K8 and NFL 2K5, he roughed the kicker again. He roughed the kicker again. This game is over, I think. Unbelievable. That's the game. But yeah, my advice to those guys that are going to sit here and harp on 10, 15 year old games, guys, do me a solid, right? Go in your closet, go to your mom's house, wherever you got to go. Find that red, white, and yellow cable. Remember the red, white, and yellow cables we used to plug up to the TV? Find those, plug them in, and go play those games. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, at this point, like, I don't know what to tell you guys. I I don't. Because I don't, but, like, that's kind of my point. These guys will say this stuff, but I don't think they're actually at home right now playing all pro football 2K8. I don't think that. I don't, I don't, th I don't think they're coming home and putting six hours in on all pro football. Oh, wait. Did we not get the two-minute warning? What just happened? Hello? Okay, whatever. So it's third and six, and this will be the Wait, does college not have the two minute warning or is that a thing? In college not think about it? That could be it. Try to take this home, no run. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Kyle doesn't have a two-minute warning? Why are they telling me to go for it? Do you not kick the field goal every time here? Kick 
can this guy make a field goal from this? So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big I can barely right see. This to perhaps salt this one away. Oh, I'm kicking today, baby. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Upright. Oh, my goodness. Heartache. It's no good. Oh, no. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I can't believe that just happened. Holy crap. Well, that's my life. Here's first and ten. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pressure? Somebody do something! Oh, frick. Oh, line, get to him. I can't get by the lineman. There we go. That's game. That should be game. Okay. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. I didn't want no bull crap. <laughs> Uh, the cool thing is, yes, this mod does have the college football rules. He should have threw that away, don't you guys feel? I feel like he should have threw that away. I feel like he should have threw that away or threw it down the field or something. You can't just take a sack there. I'm with you. I'm like, he didn't. I, it was a, a big time coverage sack. He didn't really have anybody. But at this point, you're here. You got to try to throw that crap away. I'm just saying, sheesh. All right, guys, let's take a look at the stats and get the crap out of here. Get into our next one. Passing. Well, you guys already know I'm kind of trash. So they were 59%, 329. He was, he was letting it rip through the air, but those picks, like he was literally getting picked off. Left and right, I think I had two pick sixes, so that sealed it. I had a touchdown. He had a touchdown passing. Neither one of us were really running, but my boy, 19 carries for 80. We take that. They had literally no run game, so we got to take a look at that, too, because they had no run game for the most part. Receiving, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know who any of these guys are, but they had some big-time receivers. I had... Like, you know, a couple guys get some some yards, so that is what it is. This dude had two picks. And I think he took yeah, he took one back for a touchdown. So I had two pick sixes, which were freaking huge. So good game all in all. Take a look at all the other stats. Again, I always just say, guys, remember, this is with the NFL uh, mod. Um, so, you know, this is going to be more closer to NFL gameplay as opposed to college. You know, that's a big part of it. We had equal penalties. Uh, you know, what I did want to see, though, my only turnover was that that like shovel pass lateral thing I tried and messed up. I was three for five on field goals and three for three on extra points. Any of y'all that have watched me in the past know. That's actually pretty good for me. So we take that. All in all, GJ. Yeah, I would love to use the Eagles, man. But next up, we're going to run, uh, what do we say? USC and Alabama. Is that what we said? USC, Alabama. USC, Bama. Let me let me check in. Are, is everybody cool with that? Do y'all still want to see that? I don't know if the same people are in the chat that were here from before. Do we want to do USC, Bama? Stick to college. I swear, you asked uh, how to join the franchise. What do you mean? How do you join the franchise? Dang, who am I supposed to who am I supposed to play with? I mean I'm not gonna lie. First of all, hold on a second. This is my problem. 
I thought Alabama wasn't that good this year. So how the heck they got a 94, bro? Sheesh. Oh, you know what's crazy, guys? Oh, you know what I realized? Let's use Alabama. I'll use Alabama, but here's the thing. I just realized some of the teams aren't updated, so I wonder if this is this year's team. Hopefully it's not uh hopefully it's not last year's team cuz I know some of these aren't updated. So we guys, I'm sorry. We might we might be turning up with Bryce Young. I'm sorry. Dang, USC Stadium looks dope. NFL 24. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. <laughs> Dang, guys, can I get a... Well, no, their quarterback is number four. I don't know who that is. Hosted 10 Super Bowls. Here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one. As it'll be our I'm not going to lie, that quarterback, like... Like the face they used on on uh, Williams, it does look like him a little bit. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you're eight for the two of us as a broadcast team. We've done. Oh, you said number. F oh, that's definitely just this. It's Justin Fields, bro. That's definitely Justin Fields. What? <laughs> Maybe they use his face or something. When these crowds really get cranked up, those are the fun ones. That's the best. I wonder if they use his face. But meanwhile, on the other sideline, this is a team coming in that told us, Charles, we want to get off to a fast start. On yeah, bro, they got X Factors. Look under him, bro. He's got the star on him. Do what everyone expects them to do. Get the ball in the hands of the guys who make the best. Hold on a second. I got to pause this real quick. Best, work against their best. And see how it turns out. So out comes this offense to take over. Hold on a second. Jalen Milrow. This dude is a 75. What did y'all just set me up with? What the heck? Oh, you guys setting me up. And so much for wide receiver you, bro. Look at these guys. These guys are mid. Oh, they got a tight end though. CJ. Okay. All right, young. Uh, they got. Dang, they got mad tight ends. Oh, we three tight ends, bro. We three tight end form formations all game, bro. And we got a line. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the defense looking like? A ninety-nine overall corner. Look at the corner. Look at the corners. Holy crap. Okay, now nah, we we finna Bro, do y'all see their corners? Look at their corners. <laughs> Dang. They're not that good. <laughs> they said, look, bro, that's cap. <laughs> I'm dying, yo. Time. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice. Because oh, well, it's almost. Yo, we was about to start this joint. Start this joint crazy. On any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book. He's an asset to have in any offense. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. Look at these corners. We, we. I'm, I mean, y'all saw the ratings, bro. This is about to be a murder. I'm telling you guys. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question: Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage? Okay. Uh, there we go. Three and out. Over three. Caleb Williams. Let me make sure everything is good. All right, I just need to check because you, you guys know sometimes in between games that crap resets. 0 for 3. And we're 
to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Gosh, talk about hang time. At the 27. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. So All right, guys, Justin Fields time. Look, he's even got his cross on from my other mod. I'm dead, yo. That is so funny. All right, let's get it. This is what this man was born for. The big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career is The only problem is we don't got all the quarterback runs. The situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him. And you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident. And he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Oh, yeah, we, we running. We might just have to beat these guys on the ground. It's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching. Look at the line. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, uh oh, one of them just got hurt. We need you in there, big boy. These three tight ends, they almost always head to the locker room, bro. Head to that tent. <laughs> back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. The first carry now. This is Will. Uh, Simba, yes, this is a, it's a mod for Madden 24. Yes, sir. Now second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. I'm trying to slide. Chill, bro. This dude's breaking a tackle while I'm trying to slide. My man, Justin Fields. First down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, there's a downside to everything in the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage. And that was hit these tight ends. Uh, do I know how many teams are playing for the mod? I don't. I'm not sure. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. See if we can hit the tight end in the end zone. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. I got his up there. How many teams are in it? Ah, uh, it's a, it's like. Whoa, what's up? Do y'all see that empty play right there? Double dig. You, what would happen if I called this? Do y'all see this? I'm calling it. Oh, it's normal. Why do I feel like they're in zone, but they could not be in zone? Got all day to throw. I like, I got like caught on the other guy. I was trying to run around him. My line is good. I wonder if I can get this. Nice. Someone did make a band sounds mod, but I literally was looking at it. I could not install it. Like, so I got to look at that again. But because I saw it and I was like, I literally could not. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. For right now, the rosters can't be edited. That's the thing. So. There's there's no like roster for it. All the all the players are like kind of built into it. So for now, they were saying that it can't be edited. Cause I even wanted to just like go in and give Shador Sanders the right helmet, but I couldn't. So, but in the future, that you know, it'll be it'll be completely editable. It's just this is literally like version zero point three. Oh, that throw. This dude sucks. All right, take the field goal. You guys see I'm getting the hang of the getting the hang of the kicking. I'm not selling. Yeah, they just put uh, Deion Sanders. The funniest thing is they put Deion Sanders on there for uh, Shador and for... Uh, I forgot what the the uh, the safety's first name is. I think it's like Shiloh or something. 
Sorry if I got that wrong. Are they going to release a uh, another college game? Yeah, I think they were saying one is coming next year, but everything I was reading said that that game, like they had run into legal trouble with it. So I don't know if it's still in trouble or not, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I want to see something really quickly here. Bro, I'm playing on the defensive line, right? I can't select them. Hold up. This dude right here is massive. Look at this guy. This dude is huge. He said, you that big and you getting stood up like that. Yeah, so I really like the camera on defense, but I don't use it on offense if you haven't noticed. Warren Sapp Jr., right, bro? So they're behind schedule. I'm down in distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Where is he throwing to? All right, let's go get seven now. situation this first punt 48 yards i could probably let this go but what's where's the fun in that he'll return it from the six 44 yard punt return of nine and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive and they had a long drive last time but they had to settle for a field goal i'm sure that's how it felt to them i should not have cut that way wow how did i even stay up there like what you get when you put the ball in the end zone but there are benefits that looked really strange oh he like pushed me forward and so and this is what i tell guys and you know when, when we talk about like ea and madden and real-time physics Real-time physics is one thing, but, like, respecting momentum is another. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what Madden needs to get better at. Like, this guy is off balance. He's being pushed back. He's literally falling. Look at him. He's falling. He should just kind of, like, crumple up into a ball here, not get magically stood back up and push forward three yards. You know what I mean? So that that's, like, where you have to respect I guess like the the game needs better like respect of momentum and weight at animations because that like that stood out to me. I'm trying to get this run game going. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the twenty-one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Eluding the pressure right. But I got Justin Fields here, so I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down. Uh, I heard the draft. Uh, the the I think they're fixing that soon. Crap! I don't have anywhere to go. I could have went to Triangle. I was late on that. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside. Oh, I threw it across the line. I was too late. Dang, I'm selling on this one. That's on me. I saw him too late. It might have been too late. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage. All right, on this one. I really just no turnovers here. Dude, I'm trying to throw it. No. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to lie. That is probably the worst offensive possession you guys will see on the internet all day. <laughs> that was the worst collection of plays. 
you're gonna see. <laughs> ugly, ugly, ugly sequence. Defense, please help us out after that nonsense. Don't let Caleb Williams go number one overall mode on you. This man just ran out of bounds two yards behind the line. Oh, here we go. Not good. That's even worse. Them boys are moving it. Man's top priority right now should be getting Najee Harris in the game. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of Eagles that are missing, too. Um, and that's been one thing. Like, you know, I, I, I think their face scan technology is great, but they don't. They haven't. Uh, they haven't scanned enough people. Um, so, hey, some people have been critical of that of me for that because I don't hold Madden to the same standard. Um, but I'm like, at the same time, I don't care as much because they, you know, they're wearing helmets. I like, can't see them. Okay, first quarter. Yeah, uh, bro, this uh, this mod is a hundred percent for NFL. Like, I'm I'm just playing the normal game with uh, with the NFL mod. So it's, it's you know what I mean it's gonna it's not gonna really resemble college. Yeah, I mean, Ayo, that's kind of my opinion too. You know. But I would like, I would like, I would like for both games to get their crap together when it comes to player likeness, personally. Um, but it, but it's just like, like, but I, I just want to reiterate, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just completely unacceptable what 2K has done with. Like, like I said, I care with both, about both, but the Anthony Edwards situation is completely unacceptable. Oh, if they could have blocked that guy, I had a lane. Yeah, I, I would not take physics over graphics, personally. Charles, we'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own... What happens if there's a take foul and the team is already in bonus? I just, I still think it's a... Uh, one shot in the ball. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Uh, so let me answer a couple of these questions in the chat. You said you commented on my aunt tweet earlier and you mentioned uh, Ant needs to speak up. So I, I was like high key joking about that because this is my point. I, this is what I don't get. Every player in the game is not face scan. They have an art team. So I, I, don't, I don't understand how guys in the modding community are making cyber faces that look better than 2k they have an art team and um i'm not going into like my personal life here but like uh the job that i currently work like we we deal oftentimes in contracting companies sometimes run into issues that they cannot or do not have the talent to handle so they turn to external contractors you could pay someone anyone on the planet uh, I don't know, $2,000 or something like that to make an Anthony Edwards cyber face, have all the rights, have all the everything. And it would be so, so I don't, it's actually laziness. This is not an opinion. This is like, it's not an opinion. They don't need to scan Anthony Edwards. It would be great if they could. It sucks that he hasn't gone in. It sucks that he hasn't, you know, made a fuss on the internet like that WNBA player did, but it's not on him. <laughs> like, like it's it's not an opinion. That that is not an opinion. Like, there's literally laziness. Um, 
So that's that. Um, why did he stop? Like, why did that guy stop his route? Come on, Fields. Dang. Um, how much does Sabo's gameplay mod improve the game in your opinion? I really don't want this to get clipped, so please listen to what I'm saying and don't clip this and be like, oh, Shady didn't say anything good about Sabo's mod. As you guys can see, I don't play Madden without Sabo's mod because it's freaking fantastic. It's incredible. It's awesome. It's a movie. It, it makes it takes Madden, in my opinion, from like an eight to a nine point five. But to answer your question, how much does it improve the game? I don't think it's that much because I made a slider set that's incredible. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm going to say that I, I have no problem. If people think I'm cocky, my sliders for Madden 24 are incredible. The game plays very well. If you like video game football, you can have fun with my sliders. I, I don't I don't believe that people um, have put serious effort into the game. Use slider sets and just find Madden unplayable. I, I think people are being... What's the word? Disingenuous. I, I don't think that's a real thing. I think that's fake. You know what I mean? I refuse to believe there are people in my chat right now that bought Madden 24. Nah, dude, don't you kick the field goal here? Okay, they want me to go for it. That's crazy. I refuse to believe there's people in my chat right now that bought Madden 24, plug my sliders in, and find the game unplayable. I just think that's fake. I, I don't believe you. I simply don't believe you. So that's 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 number one. Um, but Sable's mod takes it to. It's just like my 2K sliders make the game really good, but the ATD rosters make it godly. Like it's 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 a team effort. Give me that, baby. It's a team effort. Everybody puts work in. Everybody. Now, I'm, I'm going to get to all of this because I want to comment on that, too. Um, the tattoo thing. Boom. All right. Uh, Mike Wayne will care about face games. <laughs> Call Mike Wayne. I'm done. Uh, Mike, maximum football. So the thing about maximum football. Oh, shoot. What happened? Oh, guys, I think we crashed. No way. Dang, guys, we're out of there. Oh, man, guys, we crashed. What the heck? Dang, guys, we crashed. Holy crap. That sucks. That sucks. All right, well, let's load it back up. Dang, guys. All right, look, while we're still crashed, do you guys want me to... Cloud, I appreciate you. Yeah, if anybody wants to sub to the channel, make sure you do. Um, do you guys want me to load college back up or do you want me to load NFL back up? I can't believe that. Like I said, guys, the college football mod is in beta, so it happens. One for college, one for NFL, two for NFL, three for NFL. Three one for NFL right now. Four one. Five one. Six one. All right, NFL it is. OBJ you came in late, man. <laughs> Shoot. All right. I'm I'm calling it there. Six three college <laughs> or six three for NFL. I already I already pressed the button. <laughs> um Curtis, the 2016 mod does not have the roster. He's still working on it. Um he's still working on it. So Really quickly, um, because I saw a couple questions in the chat. The guy was talking about maximum football. So, 
I'll, I'll get to that. I want to get up to that. <laughs> OBJ, you're funny. <laughs> I want to get to that, but I want to get to the tattoos things, right? Because like, so this is what I've been told. I actually reached out about the tattoo thing. So my my request, I, I don't, because you guys know, as soon as I say this, people are going to be like, oh, this guy is being a EA homer. Like guys, I, tell, I've, I have actually said this a hundred times. My own YouTube videos pay me. I don't need any of these companies to pay me. Like, I don't like none of these guys matter. I'm way too small a YouTuber to be biased on this crap. But I will say this. I reached out for like factual information on this situation. The tattoos in mod in, in Madden are never, ever happening. The holdouts are never, ever happening. And the, uh, uh, what else? And the the helmets popping off are never ever happening ever again. So you guys might as well stop complaining about it. And if you guys don't like the fact that there are tattoos, not tattoos in Madden, you actually have to hit up the NFL Players Association. That crap is co contractual. Um, it, it, it's contractual. It's it's not happening. You know what I mean? So. So it's just not happening. That's that's it's just not happening. So it's just not happening. Um, it's not. But listen, OK, Freddie, but that's my point. It, no, like that's my point, bro. You have to understand why. Do you understand why Mike Evans and OBJ have their tattoos? It's because they went to their tattoo artist beforehand and owned the uh artist rights to those tattoos and the agreement that they have with the nfl pa is that they are not fighting that fight ea is not going to fight that fight the N the nfl pa is not going to fight that fight now the nba pa apparently 2k they they're they're good with it but at the end of the day, that deal is with the NFL PA, the NFL and EA. It's not so I don't care if you believe it. I don't care if you care. I don't care if you're happy. I don't care if you're sad. I'm telling you the facts. It's not happening. So we got the mods. We're going to have to get the mod. We're going to have to run with the mods because they legally can't put them in. Um, I, You know what I mean? I, I, can't, I, I don't I don't know why it's like that. I wish we obviously wish we had freaking tattoos, but we don't. I. I, you know what I mean? It sucks. 2K been sued a hundred times over. But the NBA PA, they fight that fight. NFL PA, not fighting that fight. So if you got a problem with it, go to NFL PA. It's, I know it's a cute, sexy thing to do. It's come in dudes, chats. Oh my God, men sucks because we don't have tattoos. It, guys, it's over. It's never happening. So... That, that's what I was told. I don't. I don't know. You know, just the, the. I got good info. You guys. You guys know me. I got real good info. So, NFL two K five is the goat. I guess. But I'm just saying, like, bro, I be on Twitter because you, you, you guys know, like, you know, a lot of the, the Madden devs follow me, like, just be saying random crap, and then some dude will come at the bottom of my tweet. Yo, shady man, ask a. Uh, uh, ask Clint why Madden doesn't have tattoos. I'm like, bro, you th that man is sitting in his office trying to fix the game. Like th that legal stuff, he can't do nothing about that. I, I don't know what to, you know. What I mean, it is it is what it is. Um, all right, guys, chat real quick. Let me know who, who do we want to play. What teams we want? I'm gonna run one more, and I'm out of here. Oh, and for everybody, uh, I'm going to update the, uh, I'm going to update my 2K sliders later on. All right. Uh, Bills, Dolphins, Eagles, Steelers, Bills, Dolphins, Bills, Dolphins, Cardinals, bro, <laughs> Chargers, Chiefs. Yeah, so maximum football was kind of the point we were talking about. Um, like, for example, I'm going to be 100% with you guys. And this is just me being honest. Maximum football, that crap looks terrible to me. 
It looks terrible to me, but I'm going to play it because I, I want, I, I want, if it's good, you know what I mean? Like I, I want competition. I, I want a foot to check it out. Um, I, I just wanted to kind of tie that in to what I'm talking about. Like competition in these games matter. Don't don't marry yourself to one franchise. Don't marry yourself to 2K. Don't marry yourself to Live. Don't marry yourself to um, any of these games, Maximum Football. But what I wanted to say was, we sitting here talking about Madden, and and the same guys, some of these big YouTubers, you know, following the devs for Maximum Football, saying, "Oh my God, this looks awesome." Oh blah blah blah. Yeah, you guys are on it. Can't wait. I'm like, this game looks like trash. And these are the same dudes that be sitting here ripping Madden. I don't know. I had heard about that 2K football game that they got the rights to the NFL PA, but I, I, I've never heard anything from it. All right. Are we I, I got a couple good recommendations here, guys. Dolphins, Bills, Cowboys, Niners. Um, Panthers, Texans. How are we feeling? And who should I play as? Can I go crazy with the Dolphins? It'd be cool if they had like a greenish helmet here or something, but I think I'd rather just wear their normal stuff personally. The green joints are tough. Should I wear the green joints? Which which helmet should I rock with that though? That's the only thing. I guess the normal like that looks a little weird, does it not? No, I guess that works. Retro one. I'm just trying to go through and see what all the options are real quick. Bro, I'm looking. They don't. That's what I'm saying. They don't got one. <laughs> Should I wear? I don't know. That looks kind of weird. Do you guys like this more than you like? The black. Yeah, the black looks like crap. He's saying just wear the white. Yeah, let's just do this. We'll we'll do that. Uh, let's see what the Bills have. I don't know what they have. Uh, so they got the all blue. Uh, they got all red, but I don't think they have a helmet. They got this helmet, like the white and red. And they got that helmet. Yeah, the Bills need a red helmet. I just realized that. Oh, oh, they got this one. Do you think this would look good with the other joint? I don't have a Bills jersey mod. Oh, you think the retro helmet's trash? Dang, bro. Nah, nah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rock with me real quick. Y'all cannot tell me right now. Hold on. Y'all telling me this not heat right now. You're going to look me dead in the eye and say this is not heat. This isn't heat. Man, what? Y'all. So we could. All right. So I'm going to run that and I'm going to come back over here. And just run this. You know what I mean? Let's, just, let's get the let's get this joint going.
No, you're right. I did notice the blue was a different color. No, you're right about that. Let's play a day game. I usually play at night. All right. Now the pressure's on me because Miami been putting up all these points, so I got to... I mean, I, Matt, bro, I don't know what to tell you. It was the only red helmet they got. <laughs> it was the only one they had. And the Miami Dolphins, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL. I'm sorry, guys. That's still heat. They're they're both heat, but Beautiful the Dolphins look straight up like the uh, the Hurricanes, though. Not for nothing. Coming up, it's a rematch from last year's AFC Wild Card round. As it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Do you think uh, Colorado is legit? I mean, in what sense? Like, they won one game last year. And they've won three this year. So I think they're a lot better. To be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there. I think, yeah, I think they've done good this year so far. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, this is a team that is built to win. Let's make sure my stuff is good. They have all the pieces in place. What say you, CD? I say that exactly. They've got everything that you're looking for. And yeah, I was going to say, uh, Dana, I didn't sim it, but I did play a full game Colorado versus USC on the channel. I don't know if you guys watch. Like, I watched the, the Colorado game this morning. Yo, like, like the quarterback, Shador, is an actual, like, like, just... He's really nice. Like, I, I'm actually shocked. Like, you know what I mean? And it's like, on no bullcrap, but obviously no hate. But like, I just, like, I'm going to be honest. I just thought he was just like, oh, this is Deion's son. But he's like a legit NFL prospect pro type passer. Like, very good quarterback. Uh, what's the word i'm looking for mechanics uh intangibles really like shador just a big shador fan accurate cerebral shocked i'm actually shocked and i feel bad for being shocked because like no that's not just his his like Dion's kid no that is shador sanders he's his own guy good you know good player just a really good player I'm about to say, how do you catch that? Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I, I do not think he should. Uh, I don't think he should enter the draft. I'm, I'm right there with you. He's got to stop with the over the top showboating with his dad's bread. I mean, look, man, with these NIL deals, who's to say it's his dad's bread? Who's to say it's his dad's bread? That's all I'm saying. Am I the only one that feels like he should have caught that or no? Like, you guys don't think he could have kind of laid out for that? I mean, I mean, it's tough, but you don't think he could have laid out for that? I don't know. I thought he could have made a play for that. Uh, Travis winning the Heisman? Heck no. No, he's just missing for like four games. They don't put Tyreek Hill back for punts, man. What the heck? I thought I was going to have. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins set to go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He didn't even put his hands out. Uh, but yeah, I think that, that kid from, uh, from USC is probably going to win it. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season.
Yeah, sorry, my boy Barrios, but I need them speedsters back there. The Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Hmm, I don't know if I like this actually. Off a of play action, tongue of Iloa. Nope. All right, y'all gonna laugh, bro. I forgot he was left-handed. I, I meant to roll to the left. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> That's on me, guys. I thought he was right-handed. I'm tripping, bro. Can't wait to see what their second down call is gonna look like now. All right. All right, so. Yeah, you guys know how I do. Just be having Odell Beckham chilling in the chat. Whoa, did you guys see their jerseys on the sideline? And that was yardage that they needed there after Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not the rainbow joints. What in the world? But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Oh, my God. I didn't see that guy at all. Jeez, guys, what the heck? I can't throw today. What, dude, what the heck? I'm like, yo, I got this dude wide open on the drag. That boy... Oh my god. Okay. Hey, easy T. Shout out, man. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> you, you came in perfect timing to see me sell. Give me that user in the backfield. Sheesh, guys. Can you make a. a I'm thinking you're saying a career in Madden 24 mods? Uh. You know what's interesting? I, you might be able to play career mode with the mods. I'm not sure. Because it just affects the base game. Jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The turnover... I don't know. I just sometimes feel like I feel like sometimes they don't always go for the ball when they should. Like you're looking at it, right? Like is he not looking at it? Like look at it, he's looking at it. Like I don't know what my corners. I don't know what the corners doing. So that's that. So that's that. I don't know what's going on here, but I, I feel like he could have made a play for that. I don't know. Another thing, guys, I always say when I'm playing this crap, I say it every stream. So y'all are sick of hearing me say this, but don't clip my crap and like send it to EA. And be like, oh, this game stinks. This is modded, so a lot of this stuff is like, a lot of this stuff is like, you know, it's mod. So it, it's not how the game would really play. So we, you know, the mod is still in beta. We not we yet because I got nothing to do with it. But people are still working on it. I'm an idiot for feeling this, but Here's I'm trying to get Reek. So Dang, all right, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm trying to get Reek going. All right, how do we get Reek involved, guys? We we gotta get. Come on, come on, guys. This is Tua in here. We need we need Reek. You better have safety help over the top. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves. Maybe reward their defense a little bit. I'll put some points on the board on this one. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the Let's ball. Get involved. The person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Yeah, a uh, couple people made some good points in the chat uh, for the tattoo mod. If you don't have a face scan, they can't add tattoos to the player. So um, that's just part of it. 
Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Like I'm second trying to get these seven. boys involved, bro. Now to a oh, that pressure. Gave me pressure right up, up front. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under I'm sorry, guys. When you got a star receiver, sometimes you gotta just got to force feed him, man. I'm going to Tyreek on this one. Hold my running back in the block. We got to get Tyreek involved. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. You just got to get him involved, you know? Now let's get Waddle going. They want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. Got tackled from behind. That's what I'm saying, bro. They need some actual red helmets. How they got the red jerseys, all red, red socks, red everything. Oh, I ran right into him. I should have juked back into the right. That's on me. We're going right back to... Uh, we're going right back to... Uh, Tyreek on this one. Maybe. I might just go to square or to triangle. If I have time, it depends. I'd like to hit Tyreek. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He's got his target. How much are the mods, bro? No, bro. We don't pay for nothing around here, bro. It's a community, man. Nobody's charging nobody. So don't ever let don't ever let nobody. These guys put a lot of work in for the community, man. And they don't charge anybody anything. So don't ever let anybody scam you out of nothing. <laughs> I agree 100%, Curtis, because them black joints are tough. There we go. We just force feeding at this point. Get in there. Some 2K mods are not free. Yeah, well, I don't give them boys the time of day. What are they doing? <laughs> These modders really could make hella bread off us. Yeah, nah, not off me though. Um, and it's like, I never like really having this conversation because it's like so funny to me because like, oh no, bro, bro, that's my point. And I'm a Curtis, I'm gonna I'm bring it right back because I gotta make sure I got to make sure I say this the right way. That crap killed the 2K modding community. Like, that crap got so crazy. Bro, these dudes were charging me. I'm not going to get into all that. Yo, these dudes were trying to charge me 35 bucks a pop for a Cyberface, bro. You got guys charging dudes 200 bucks for a court. Like, y'all might not know how deep it goes. Some of these big YouTubers, what they pay for some of this stuff. Hey. Hey, talk to some of these boys that got mods that nobody else got and ask them what they paid. They won't tell you. Yo, I'll even just give you all a quick story. This dude was making cyber faces for me, right? He's making cyber faces for me. Right. Just chilling. Five bucks here. Ten bucks here. Oh, bro, this one's going to be tough. I need ten from you. Oh, this one's five. This one's five, right? Right. I shouted the, I shouted the dude out. I said, I told him, I said, uh, yo, man, thanks, bro. You, you do great work. A bunch of people asking, you know, asking me like about your work, like where I got this face, where I got that. Like, can I shout you out like this, that and the other? He said, shout me out. I said, yeah, like on my YouTube channel. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, that was a nice play, but I'm faster. Right. So this guy, he said, you, 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 you do YouTube. He's like, I was like, yeah, I do YouTube. He was like, oh. Um, okay, right? Yo, tell me how next time I hit this man up. And it wasn't nothing crazy. Like, it really wasn't. But it, that's exactly what happened. How how the next time I hit him up? Oh, yeah, bro. I joined 25. I said, 25? 
Yeah, yeah, man. What you need? I need to. I need Tobias Harris. He, and the crazy thing is, he said, "What do you need?" I said, "I need Tobias Harris." All right, bet. Then he he finished it. Sent me the picture. I said, "This is dope. Nice. I, I can send that." I said, "What you need? Like five or ten, something like that." Oh no, nah, bro. That's that twenty-five. I'm like, bro, what you mean? He said, like, yeah, bro, I, you know, just times is tough, man. It's 25, bro. I'm like, bro, that's wild, right? That's, I'm not even done. Oh, somebody in the chat said it. So that guy, and Tyler, I'm not going to say his name just because y'all know I don't be doing stuff like that. This guy, holy crap. This dude was literally charging 35 a, a, for each. And I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? This is the crazy thing about him, though, Tyler. So I went in the Discord. I went back in the Discord and I'm like, yo, like this guy charging 35 for a cyberspace. And somebody was like, what? I said, yeah, he wants to, he wants 35 from me. I I got my guy. I said, yo, bro, do me a solid. Can you do me a solid, man? See, so, yo, DM this guy real quick and see how much he wants for the cyberspace. Just real quick. I said, I asked him yesterday. He said 35. DM him, ask him how much it is. Dude told this other dude five bucks. It's the YouTuber tax. I'm like, bro, what are you? So that that whole community got real toxic, real quick, and I I had to remove myself from that situation, bro. Them boys are, them boys. <laughs> they kicking field goal. Bro, when I tell y'all, I had like 3,000 subscribers at the time. Like, it wasn't even anything serious. He missed. Holy crap. Yeah, it was way back in the day. 2K20, 2K21 back in the day. Just on some bull crap. But yeah, guys, that uh, 2K modding community got so toxic so fast. All of that stuff got out of hand. I had to remove myself from the situation. Some of these boys... Was just maxing a little bit. Two and now on first down. Getting this out to the flat. Oh, nice. Hey, he can ask for. I don't. Hey, look, I ain't mad at him for asking, but I ain't mad at him for asking, but. Ooh. The, but the, you know the joke about it is though how much of a clown he is like IRL you like you know how much money he could have made if he kept his price the same and said bro all I need from you is just shout me out in every one of your videos like because y'all don't like back in the day bro people were fiending for those mods like fiending for them Right, we we going Tyreek again. Oh, too much. We trying to we really are trying to do this seventy piece. We going Tyreek again. To end zone right here. Uh, maybe not. I I angled it weird. <laughs> Thirty five for Tobias is crazy. But the, I, I ain't going to sit here and trash the guy. But let me just say this. You think that's crazy, bro? You think it was even crazier once you saw it. That's the only thing. Oh, Tua slinging it. Well, well, that's what I've noticed is the community is entitled and low IQ. And that is a very like as someone who like is a curator in the community, someone who has a product, I've noticed the entitlement is just generational. This is like generational entitlement. I had a guy DM me and this is why like guys I, like when I tell you all this one dude changed my whole YouTube channel. This guy, you you guys should have seen the tweet that this dude sent to me. He said, like, on some crazy crap, he said, I don't know what you've been up to with this Madden bull crap, but you need to get on the jump shot fixes because 
Scoot Henderson need Whoa! Holy crap! Holy blitz! Anyways, he said because Scoot Henderson needs it. I told this dude, I said, you know what? You're right. I am introducing something new to my channel. I told you guys I was going to be playing Madden. I told you guys I was going to try and be consistent playing Madden. I said, but Scoot Henderson does need a jump shot fix. And when it comes out, you going to pay me for it because I ain't putting it on the channel. How about that? All right, guys, I think I finally got the hang of kicking. I would be so pissed if you blocked that. But, I'm, but like, the, the I'm like, bro, the fact that this guy woke up and I'm talking like I posted like on Twitter. I said, oh, guys, blah, blah, blah. You know, just a normal generic tweet like, hey, guys, just posted some Madden content. Bro comes in. He says, I have no idea what you're doing with Madden, but you need to get back on the jump shots. I said, OK, I will. But you're going to run me that dollar, bro. That's all I'm saying. Just out of respect. I was like, bro, some of the comments people send these days are so disrespectful. I would never my lo my logic is number one. I would never talk to someone like that on the Internet about like that. But I'll also say I don't think half of these people would say half of this stuff to you to your face. I, I just don't I, I just don't think that. So I don't know what has happened to the 2K community. I don't know if and I said maybe these people are kids. Like I don't know if it's children. You know what I mean? Like. I, I don't I don't know what it is. Yeah, King Carter, bro. I put my content now behind my YouTube channel membership when it comes to 2K. My membership is a dollar and I keep it that way. So that way it's not super expensive. Anybody can afford it, but it's just like kind of like a thing so that people are actually supporting the channel. That's that's it. You know what I mean? I don't do nothing crazy. I don't be trying to trying to, you know, do no nonsense. You guys know me. I'm a no nonsense guy. I tell people all the time, this this a hobby. <laughs> oh crap! Whoa! I don't like that at all. I don't I don't like that. So like, listen, look at this. Hold on, I gotta see this replay again. Look at this. So this guy gets a block. If this dude just runs straight, he's still running. Look at where my guy went. I don't love that. That stinks. Um, I, yeah, he's got to like, how do we make him run better? Like, I think I don't know if that's base game. I don't know if that's something to do with the mod, because I know Sable was saying he did some stuff with uh, with the mod and like the path finding so maybe i'll post that clip in his uh in his thing and see if it uh has anything to do with that i don't love that bro <laughs> tyler so the the whole joke about that post on twitter I, so that was another thing. For those of you that don't have me on Twitter, I made a post saying, like, because of the badges that Steph Curry has, he with with my sliders was the qualifier. He cannot have a 99-3 because he literally never misses. That was all I was saying. The thread now, I don't know how much, like, it literally got, like, 9,000 views on Twitter of, like, park people, like, attacking me. You don't know basketball, blah, blah. Oh my God, relax. It's not that serious. Um, so King Carter, it's a really funny uh, thing about the jump shot fixes because I actually argued and I had said like the jump shot fixes kind of like hurt my channel a lot because it introduced a lot of people to the channel. I'm thankful, obviously, like the people that, you know, follow the channel for that. But it introduced a lot of people that like the people that started following me for jump shots like quickly started to outnumber i guess i'll say everybody else so it just got to the point where if i posted anything other than a jump shot it got to the point where people were like yo what the heck man where's this and where's that and i'm like you know what i mean it's got real crazy so Dang, what are you doing to him? Holy crap. 
I heard the signature is crazy, but I can't get it to trigger. I was trying to trigger it on one of the first. It's not giving me the option. Nah, guys, we doing it. We scoring with him. Let's see if we can get him here. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. The Dolphins are a movie in this game. We got it. I think we got it. <laughs> oh man, they are crazy. <laughs> I don't, that is that is not it. <laughs> that is not it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I'm going to be honest. The one thing about the Dolphins, they might actually be too good. Like, <laughs> they might be too good in the game. I, I just don't know if they... Well, well, they. I mean, they fixed it to an extent. Like, it's better than it was, but I still, like, I don't know if... I don't know. I wish that shade wasn't there. I'm trying to get him, like, for a thumbnail or something. Oh, wait a minute. Can't really see his face. Wish I could see his tattoo better. It's not a great. Maybe this is better. Yeah, we'll take this one. Because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day. Oh no, hey, it looks great until you until you try to until you try to uh Oh crap. Well my kicking woes. There we go. Had to miss one eventually. I think so you guys want to know the funny thing now because it's like I almost like so my logic is I don't ever want to get to a point where I can't criticize Madden or I can't criticize 2K or I won't criticize one or the other but it's like I almost don't want to criticize Madden as much not because there also isn't stuff that's wrong but it's just because it's like whenever you say something bad about it they're like yeah see i told you it's trash and it's just like everyone kind of like piles on then when you say something about 2k it's just like these guys i'm like is you you guys should see some of the comments like if you say anything negative about 2k it's just insane it's insane Oh, yeah, we're going to try and get Tyreek to put his uh, peace sign up for sure. There's Cook. Oh, okay. Well, I was complaining about the run the first time. Can't complain about that one. That's a big run. This dude looked like I thought that was Dalvin Cook for a second. That was a nice run. Look at the juke at the end. That was nice. This game, like, I just feel like sometimes it looks really good in motion. But some guys would rather be playing a 15-year-old 2K5. I don't know. Oh. Oh, hello. That's his brother? Oh, get out of here. That's cool. Matter of fact, we were talking about college. Um, I remember him at Florida State, man. I was praying so hard the Eagles could somehow draft him, but 
we were never it. The two guys I wanted the Eagles to draft were freaking like desperately was Ezekiel Elliott and uh, Dalvin Cook. We, I don't. I think they all got drafted before. Uh, Before the Eagles were, you know, were up. Our Ramis, I did hear that. Um, Uh-oh. Sheesh. Yeah, one of the people involved in Tupac's murder was arrested the other day. Um, I did hear that. I, th I thought that was funny. Um, not funny, but just... What is the angle that this guy took here on this play? That's very strange. I've noticed that a couple times. I, I just. That was a weird angle, but I don't really know what to to feel about the Tupac situation. I don't know if I should care. A lot of that happened before I was born or, you know, when I was a literal infant, but you know, there was some people making jokes saying, like, they literally caught the guy that shot Tupac before, you know, the Cowboys won a Super Bowl. You know, jokes like that. But, yeah, it was just a lot. It was just a lot behind that that was really interesting. They were saying something I was reading. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Oh, I had a little scene there. They were reading that he kind of, like, admitted to it, like, in, a, in an interview or something. Like... And that, like he, like he kind of incriminated himself in an interview and stuff like that. So there's a lot behind it. I don't, I don't really know all the details, um, but I know they're saying that at this point, a lot of people involved are are dead. I know a lot of people think there are some other, you know. Oh, how do you not block him? That's crazy. Dang it. Um, I know there's a lot of people that think like you know other guys were involved in it. I'm not knowledgeable enough in that situation. Um, I just, you guys know me and how I roll. Don't condone any of the violence. I think it's ridiculous to kill somebody. Reek. Oh, I did not overthrow Tyreek Hill with Tua. That's crazy. Well, you guys know Vlad is a uh, certified, uh, what do we, what, what's the word we use? Uh, informant. <laughs> so you go on Vlad. Um, oh, two. Oh, he dropped that. No way, guys. That was a dot. You got to punt it away. All right. Let me ask you guys a question since we're on the topic. Did any of you guys hear the story about the guy that came on? He came on Vlad and he kind of like put. Did, did any of you guys see the story about the guy? who like i forget what happened but like basically the two guys broke in his apartment um and he killed one of them and he was like bragging about it on instagram oh no and he, he like went on vlad and did an interview and they literally like killed him like right after he did the interview with vlad i was like if people don't stop going on there and just running their mouths like i don't want to sound like an old head i don't but i am kind of an old head you know i'm 30 so i'm a little bit of an old head and i don't want to be like sexist or anything but i'm just starting to feel like this new generation of men they talk like women it's crazy like and i feel like some of it's like this podcast culture like it's like podcast culture you know what i mean it's just like everybody's got to be in front of the camera everybody's got to be talking about what they're doing everybody's got to be flexing or flashing something it's just a lot going on. Um, if you guys ever looked that story up, I think his name is D Savage or something, or D D Savage. It was something like that. The literal craziest situation I've ever seen in involving Vlad and, and somebody. This dude, when I tell you this guy got killed like right after his interview, it, it's insane. So we we know what comes with that. I think the dude's name was D Savage. Something like that. You guys think I can hit Tyreek on this? I don't like. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm all in. I'm running. Block the linebacker. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, crap. The time. Holy crap. 
BTB Savage, yes. Yes. BTB Savage was his name. If you guys, and I'm telling you, you guys will be on YouTube for two hours looking at this story when you guys see the, the, the real details around it. it. It's one of the craziest stories I've I've seen. Now, all and I'm going to say this, I don't have, I, I'm. this is my opinion, let me know if I'm wrong. I don't actually have a problem with Vlad because I just think he's doing his job and giving guys a platform to do what they're going to do. And I just think it's, Oh man, almost. I just think it's just the mentality, the mindset of he. All he does is provide the platform. What these guys do with it after the fact, I, I, I can't. I don't know that I can hold him accountable for that. You know, I, I just don't. I don't know. Um, it's, you know, it's just like a podcast. Guys get on podcasts and say a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, I don't. I don't know if I can hold those guys. Uh, accountable, right? Am I wrong, or Ramis? How do you feel about it? This halftime lead. Final preparations being made for the second half, both in terms of game plan and also. And all and another, he asks though, like this dude, and so like it's almost like you know it's funny because I think DJ Academics is the same way. I, I, he, they just know the questions to ask because they know so much information, so they know what questions are going to get guys talking. You know what I mean? I don't know much about Boozy. I, I definitely don't know his music. And it's funny, you guys will laugh, but I'm actually not a big rap fan. I don't listen to a lot of rap music, which is the irony of it. Well, that's a bad pass. That's a crazy bad pass. I thought he would fall off. I'm selling the I'm selling the game, guys. I'm selling the game. I'm, I'm just trying to talk and, and do stuff. But um I, I I didn't I thought he was gonna fall off here. I did not think this guy was gonna run with him. I thought like when he was dropping like this, I thought he was gonna keep dropping. I didn't think he would run with him. That's why I threw it. I thought I had that. Um, young, I'm a really big, you know, because in terms of instruments, I grew up playing play piano, play saxophone. Really big jazz guy. I mean, I love R and B, so that kind of makes me you know listen to. You know, kind of a bunch of different stuff. I, I listen to a lot of rap. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't love Kendrick. I don't love Drake uh, and stuff like that. But it's just I'm not into a lot of the, the heavy, you know, street stuff. Number one, it's not the lifestyle I, I came up living. So I don't like listening to stuff that doesn't really resonate with me, if that makes sense. Love Kendrick, though. Love J. Cole. A lot of the mainstream stuff, Drake. Um, but I'm not going to say like, for instance, like I'm not going to sit down and listen to NBA young boy. I'm not going to listen to that. What am, what am I listening to that for? It has nothing to do with my life. You know what I mean? So stuff like that. I don't get into a lot of the heavy stuff. All right, guys, I got to I'm talking and selling the game. Let's get this offense back. I did not know Vlad security is NYPD. I do know he said, though, you can't just come in here like he said, like, my security is literally he's got to have that security. Um, I was listening to Vlad tell the story about look at this rush. Sheesh. I was listening to Vlad tell the story about how he was like he had a home invasion situation. It was just crazy. But how you carry yourself. How you show your team that you're still right. with it. We got to get this offense going now, guys. They're backed up here with a first and See what Tyreek is doing deep. And if not, we'll look at the tight end here. Throwing now is Chungavailoa. That's a bad pass. Sheesh. Knocked away and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't. Vlad is the one who puts the mic in front of you and says, speaks your truth, and people don't know how to be quiet. Yeah, and they, that's how I feel about it. But a lot of people, especially like in, in the black community, feel like he's like, you know, trying to incriminate people. And, and I, crap. I, I don't feel that way personally. I, I just feel like it's one of those situations where he has a great hustle. And guys are playing into it. I, you know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. But but I, I think, in my personal opinion, I think the issue comes back to dudes too ready to run their mouth. 
two day, two ready. Yeah, man, I did this. I did that. Like, bro, go home. You make a lot of money. Sit on that crap. I, you know. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. All right. Hey, if the defense could do something here, that would be great. But yeah, if you guys get the chance, look up the whole. I need you guys to do the whole research on the whole BTB Savage situation. He explains everything. Nah. Oh, how did he get by me like that? No. Crap, guys. We're in trouble. I need you guys to look up the whole BTB Savage. And, and like, bro, when I tell you, like, on some real crap, just out of respect, like, for him and his family, like, he, like, he got gunned down over that crap. And, like, none of that had to happen. So it was real, it was real unfortunate. Um, and I wonder if something like that had happened, had, would have happened if he hadn't have done, you know, the interviews and kind of went on a media tour, uh, you know, after his situation. Bro, King Carter, I don't know if it's true, but I saw it on Twitter. They said that man got killed 30 minutes after he took that picture. That's what they said. They said he got killed 30 minutes after he took the picture. I mean, it's a crazy world out here, man. Okay, he he running, he running, running. Sheesh. Wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game. I ram as I agree 100 percent. This is ball control football. I agree 100 percent. So time and making it work. Oh, defense. My defense is just. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Well, it's funny because a lot of people don't really understand Aramis the the uh, the origin of like the Rico, just Rico cases in general. They were made to take down mobs. Oh, how did he get that edge? Oh, he fumbled. Oh, we almost got it. But I'm like, bro, a lot of people don't understand what's come, what's happening or what's going to happen. I'm like, guys, I hate to say it. I don't think Young Thug is coming back. I, I think we, we might it might be curtains for that. That just to my understanding of how these Rico cases work. They're they're made to they're made to stack people up, stall people out. Get people talking. You know what I mean? The King Carter, that's the funny thing about the Rico stuff, right? You can have a group of people. And you could not have done anything. But if they can somehow prove that your finances impacted or enabled somebody to do something, you can spend the whole rest of your life in jail. That's how Rico works. It connects people. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's crazy. Guys, I feel like the, the Bills just turned into a completely different team in this second half. I'm getting stomped out. That deep in your own territory. The goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then you know a lot of people are you know like like I said a lot of people are kind of waiting on this case and how it's gonna that's a pick oh man guys I'm selling that's a pick what happened he glitched he's glitched He's dead. This guy really ugly. These guys scored like 100 unanswered points. I thought I was going to run away with it. I really did. Let me see what happened on this one. He ran this way. And I look, 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 look. He baited me. He literally baited me. Look, he turned around and then turned back around and then said, give me that. I got baited. I got baited. I got baited. Turn that into a pick six. Uh, Ramis, man, you, you, you just, you know what you're talking about. That's all it is. That's all it is. Some of these guys, some of these guys are, 
That, you know what I mean? That's it. That's it. And the crazy thing is some of the rappers, the, the musical talent, that would be perfectly fine without that stuff, use the the gangs for the, just for the clout. And that's it. <laughs> and they introducing a whole world of nonsense to their life for nothing. Do you guys remember? I don't know if anybody, any of you guys were around during the time or for following the case but if you guys remember the whole Takashi 69 situation when all of those audio tapes started coming out about him and he started like really talking like when he really was fearing for his life and he started saying like yo 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 time out I'm not involved in none of this stuff I just literally just be making music oh that could have been a pick too you know what I mean that's that's where that's what these guys really are There, there's a lot of this stuff is not even really involved in this stuff but they make the the sound because that's what people that's what people flock to unfortunately six and six nine is the perfect example six nine is a perfect example and the the joke on that is that almost cost that man his life don't know what they could have done to that guy and, and he's not even really probably doing any of that stuff i don't know for sure because i'm not there but you never know. All right, we got to get this third down, guys. Uh, I'm sacked. This guy's so ugly. So anyways, this conversation started by, you know, uh, like me talking about my the music that I like, and I can't sit here and listen to music that don't got nothing to do with me in my life. Like, I like... And Curtis, I'm talking, he's in the middle of the hood with gang members with zillions of dollars. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's maybe he's really not that rich. Maybe he's a labeler or something. I don't know how all that works, but well, he could just literally walk away from it. But he needs the clout. I, yeah, yeah, but it, it, and I remember when that case happened and all of the audio leaked. That man was just afraid for his life. He's like, "Oh, yo, they actually gonna kill me right now." Like well, when they had actually, when they had actually like kidnapped him, they they had actually kidnapped six nine, and he's like, "Yo, like, bro, like, don't kill me." Like, if y'all ever heard that tape, that was the tape when it really got crazy. Oh no. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. So now first and ten as they've crossed in. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah, that that could have been could have been dicey. It's Cook. He works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front. And wing in a big way hey tj you said you had a question i i think the chat was moving too fast i missed you what was your question give him a yard down to the 43 and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way i think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first well well i think the point and i, I think that's actually a, a really good point is the there is a reason kendrick's kendrick and it's almost like a blessing like low-key because he's so talented he can rap about uh great stuff like real stuff but everybody can't do that everyone doesn't have the talent to do that and the sad thing is that people won't listen to a lot of people that do that you know uh king carter yeah i'm all philly sports so eagles flyers phillies sixers um did i forget one no nah, eagles flyers sixers philly Kendrick doesn't have to drop every day because because uh, his crap is on repeat. <laughs> That's why. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Oh, please get him. Are you kidding me? Jeez. 
He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Bro, listen, man. I, and that's why I said it's really sad, bro, because I actually really like the Heat. I was rooting for the Heat all playoffs. But, bro, your fan base been literally wiling on the internet. That's all I can call it. Like, there's so much devastation over not getting damn, and I get it. You have to be upset. How did he catch that? I don't know why. You got to be upset when you don't get a player like Dame. But just a lot of the crazy stuff people are saying about the Blazers, like, and trying to act like they were supposed to take Tyler Hero over what they took. I, I just can't. I hate it. I hate it. I, I, I can't stand it. But I, I, but I get it, though, because you lose out on a player like that, you're going to be frustrated when it's been reported the whole time. Um, TJ, what does the reshade? I don't use reshade, so I'm not sure. But what does the message say that you're getting? Uh, King, I freaking love Tyler Hero. How did he pick? What? No way. Oh, guys, this this game is over. I, I, how did he pick that? What? I'm leading him. I'm leading him and he just... What? Oh, gosh. This is... That's nuts. Uh, so, TJ, uh, what happens when you press the home key? Bro, Curtis, I'm talking. I'm distracted. <laughs> I'm distracted. This one in firm control, and you always hear about you know those stories about someone looking and these guys catching everything. Maybe you benefit from it. I'm not gonna say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared. But, but, Car but King, this is my problem. This is the real problem. This is the third superstar in the last two years to say I'm trying to be in Miami and didn't end up in Miami. KD, Donovan Mitchell, uh, and Book. I, or not Book, um, Dame, I mean. I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, we gotta, gotta get him. I mean, and that's just my mindset. Like, when a superstar comes out and says, This is where I wanna be, you gotta move heaven and earth. You gotta move heaven and earth to get him. But, anyways, I, I love Tyler Hero. Um, and, and I, I fell in love with Tyler Hero's game. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I did his jump shot fixer, when I when I did his jump shot fix, and I found out like about how he nope. Oh my god, he got me again. Sheesh. Uh, when I found out, uh, when I found out like how he plays and like how he moves off of the ball, like he's actually elite. Like you know what I mean? Like he's actually elite at a lot of stuff. Like not just on no bull crap. Like a lot of people don't know that. Nope, give me that. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two yard line. They're turned away on. You know what, bro? I forgot about Beal. Beal too. I'm a Duke fan, so I thought I thought uh I thought uh insult injury. Some teams are just like I thought Justice Winslow was gonna be elite. But I got a chance to put some more points. Wait, what just happened? What the situation I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear people protest out of them. That's just who they are. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Okay, I, I actually just can't play. How about that? This is just me. I can't play. That that should have been another pick. I'm just straight up selling, so all the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win. Listen, I'm gonna say something real deep. Not deep. That's not what I meant. It's not deep, but what a lot of people don't understand about the Dame situation, and I'm going to tell you all this because a lot of people didn't look at it this way. I made a comment on one of my streams and people went crazy. And I'm going to tell you what I said on that stream in case some of you weren't there. 
I'm assuming most of you weren't there, actually. I said on stream, I said the Heat will not win the championship with Dame or without him. And people said I was crazy, but they didn't really understand what I was saying. What I was saying was not that if you added Dame to the current Heat that they wouldn't be good. I wasn't saying that. I was just saying based on what they would have to give up to get him there, they wouldn't be a team anymore. I'm sorry. That was my take. If you're the Blazers, how do you give up Dame without asking for Jimmy? Oh, gosh, I thought I was going to be picked. Sheesh. How do you give up Dame without asking for Jimmy or Bam? How? I'm asking you. If, if you are if you are a fan of the... Because I'm like, people come on this internet and act like both teams don't got to agree to the trade, guys. You know, both teams... It ain't, it ain't, you just can't, can't hit the... That's a crazy pass. You, you, you can't... I mean... So I like so I don't even understand how that's crazy. How is that crazy? How how else would you get a talent like I, I don't know maybe maybe uh, maybe y'all just don't know how good Damian is. That man averaged thirty two points a game. How do you get Damian Lillard without giving up another star? How in in what? In, in what in what scenario? This is third and eight. Go Tyreek, go Tyreek. I'm just, no, 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 but I'm talking about, I'm talking about what you ask for. So listen, hear me out. So if you can't get that, uh, I didn't really have an angle there. If you can't get that, you ask for other pieces. My brother, what are the other pieces that the Heat have? They don't have anything else. They have no young talent, none, literally no young talent. Well, I, I don't understand. There is no avenue to a Dame trade. I'm sorry. There's there's no avenue to a Dame trade. There's no young talent to give up. You want you you, you want the Blazers to take Jovich back? I, I I don't get it. I don't I don't get that, bro. They got ten guards on the roster. What are the Blazers going to do with Tyler Hero? What are the what are the what are the Blazers gonna do with Tyler Hero? No 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 King Carter, that that's the problem. Nobody knows them yet. See, when you do a trade, it's not just about who you get. You gotta you gotta you gotta please your fans, you gotta please the media, you gotta please everybody. I'm not trading you Damian Lillard for Jovich. That's not happening. I'm sorry. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. Well, the win for them at this point seems now listen. Sure. I mean, still a right. amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. There's a writer for the Miami Herald. He's been there 30 plus years. He said the offer was Tyler Hero, a pick and a swap. That was the offer that Miami wouldn't budge off of. Obviously, I wasn't in any of the negotiations. I don't know, but that sounds crazy to me. I'm I'm sorry. Now there was rumors. I had heard that Miami had offered you know three firsts and all that. That's being disputed. So I I, I don't I don't know if you guys believe that there was an offer for three first round picks on the table and then Portland declined it just so they wouldn't send Dame to Miami. I don't I don't believe that happened. That's my personal opinion. Okay, so 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 King Carter, do you believe I'm asking you a question. Do you believe that offer was on the table? Cuz I don't. I don't believe that offer was on the table. Now a give running left is Harris. And space tough to come by there as he'll get I think I'm a, I'm very high on si Simon Simmons. I don't know how you say. I think his last name is Simons. I'm I'm high on him. I like his game. I can't stop these guys. I think uh, because of the asking price, I think the team that can get, uh, I think the team is most likely to get Drew. Could be wrong, but I think it's going to be the Clippers. 
um, because they're they're saying the asking price is going to be two firsts, and I don't think I don't think the Celtics one will give up the first or have pieces that they'll be able to flip into two firsts. When I think the Clippers, I think will have more teams to flip uh, for a pick that they can package with their own. That's just what I think. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. So it's Bill's football here as we get you I just think, listen, the moral of the story, you know, everybody was running with like people trying to say that the Portland front office was being petty. I don't know if that's true. I wasn't in none of those negotiations. But I don't know if you can really say that that's the reason that that trade happened. If I was a Boston Celtics, I would give up anything and get Drew on the roster. That's just me personally. I'm sitting here taking timeouts like I can come back in this game. Man, you imagine you swap Mark. I'm sorry, not not hating on Marcus Smart, but kind of am. You can swap Marcus Smart with uh, with Drew Holiday. That's what I'm saying, but that upgrade, like you go from having smart to having holiday, like I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this score ended up being the exact opposite of what I thought it would be. I thought I would be up on this one. But you throw four picks. That's what happens, guys. I got too cute trying to get it to Hill and them. And uh, but remember, the whole point is Portland is going to flip Dame, or sorry, uh, Drew to whichever team can give them the most compensation. Sheesh. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. And it's oh, that'll do it. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bills are going to get the football back. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to... Uh, I'm not a big Bam guy. I mean, he's asked to do so much. It's hard to say, like, he doesn't do enough, but he doesn't... Your point is perfect. He doesn't do enough in terms of scoring. I would argue, and King Carter is a Heat fan, so he would have to speak to it more than me. I would argue he actually does too much stuff that I don't need him to do and not enough stuff in terms of being a presence in the low block that they have to worry about on offense. Um, he, he doesn't move the needle for me. I mean, he doesn't move the needle for me. Um, and I think that's why you don't like, you don't like that one? Oh, I'll say this. I, I it, it might be a tough take and it's tough to handle, but when you talk about Bam, right? When you when the Heat got to the finals, I mean, because you got to think about it. This is how I look at it. It's real simple. I think. Do we all agree that he's a max player? I think he's a max player. So, how do you have a max player that's not your second option on offense? That's hard. No matter who you are, I just got to be objective. I can't. I can't give you that. If you're a max player and you can't be a second option on offense, that's tough. It's, I'm, I'm not saying he's a bad player, but that's hard. Um, to you, if you build a team, because I'm, I'm not talking about like or disliking players. I'm just talking about how you can financially build a team. You got a max player on the team. He can't be your second option. Look at the Sixers. Look at what they're paying Tobias Harris. He can't, he can't be a second option. You, that's not good. Um, that's, that's tough. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't sit here and say I've watched him enough to say what he does or doesn't do well enough. I just know I need a little bit more um, from him. Well, shoot, Miami needs more because I think if he could have been a bigger, you know, a bigger piece to the puzzle, you know, they could have competed in some of these finals. Yeah, wow. Well, this was a good game, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Bills really kind of played out of their minds. Uh, and my picks kind of sealed the deal. Four touchdowns, no picks for them. <laughs> Two touchdowns, four picks for me. That's just, you're going to lose every game like that. They ran the ball. I didn't. What's your opinion, Giannis, Dame, Chris? Hold on. I can't see my chat for some reason. Giannis, Dame, Chris, Brooke, or KD, Steph, Clay, Dre? Is that a trick question? I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Yeah, that's not a conversation. That's that's crazy. I, I, nobody's arguing for the Bucks there, right? I need to hear from somebody if they're arguing for the Bucks. No, nobody's. Yeah, what are we talking? About? Oh, and no, 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 time out. So well, hold on, hold on. So we're talking about like the 2017, 2018 Warriors versus then, or are you talking about all of those players right now? Are we like, are we, are we talking about that Warriors team versus this Bucks team, or all of those players right now? Because that's different. What, what what are we going for with that? Because Clay is a whole lot worse. Are you talking about if you took Katie and put him back on the Warriors versus the Bucks now? Or are you talking about those guys back in the day? No. Oh, yeah. No. Heck no. 18 Warriors and four. 18 Warriors and four. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. 18 Warriors and four. Sorry, that's not even, I'm not doing that one. 18 Warriors and four, that's actually too much firepower. That's actually too much firepower. I don't know how that works. You know what I mean? I've been said that. I, I don't know how you actually go in and beat that team. But the only way you beat that team is with injuries. We saw it. The only way you can hope to beat them is with an injury. If, they, if they're healthy at that, in, that, in that finals, they're not ever losing. That's, that's just the reality of the situation. That's the tough thing about it. And you guys know me. I don't particularly like stuff like that. Um, you know, like a lot of the team stack and stuff. But I gotta call that what it is. Dang, I couldn't even get Tyreek Hill involved. Yeah, no, a 73 and 9 joint was without KD. That was the, remember, he joined that year after. A Team Warriors is literally the greatest NBA team of all time. Argue a wall if you disagree. So I, 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 how do I word this? I disagree, but I don't think you're wrong. Does that make sense? Is that a crazy thing to say? I don't agree with you, but I I don't think you're wrong. So what I'm saying is in a vacuum, if you take the 96 Bulls and play them against the Warriors, I don't think they could beat the Warriors because of the three ball. But I also think the 96 Bulls would be different. I, I, I don't think they could beat them in 96, right? So it's just like... You, does that make sense? Like, so I think they're the greatest of their time. There's no point in comparing the two teams because they're in different eras. Like, I don't, I don't see how that would work. Like, how would that? I'm, I'm, I just want to know. I'm curious. How would that Bulls team beat the Warriors? With they, they're literally outscoring you. You can score sixty. You can shoot sixty percent from the field, but they're going to outscore you shooting. 41% from three. You can't beat them like that. So unless we're adding threes, like, I don't know how that would work. But then you put Steph in them in 96. 
they're getting pushed around and KD is getting literally clamped. <laughs> Robin versus Draymond is just carnage. I don't want to. Yeah, I think they blew a 3-1 lead to the NBA uh, league office, but I think that's another conversation for another time. If uh, you guys know what the boy is saying, <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all already know. <laughs> I'm on my bull crap. <laughs> Hold on, Draymond got hurt. That's not good. Draymond Green sprained his ankle stepping on Jonathan Kaminga's foot during a team scrimmage. That's wild. Yeah, I see the same thing. They're saying three to six weeks. Sheesh. This one says he's definitely missing the first week of this regular season, maybe the second. Sheesh. That's a serious sprain, man. For a sprained ankle? Holy crap. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if Poole's going to. I mean, it's just tough. I was saying that. I don't know what Poole's going to do in Washington. We were saying that the other night. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, I'm going to end the stream here. But if you guys give me a couple hours, I am going to actually update my 2K sliders. Um, So just, you know, if you feel like it's late on my on my it's one o'clock in my spot but if any of y'all are looking forward to that i do got a quick little update to the set that thing is going to make it play a whole lot better so i got to type all that up um go in the game and make sure i get all that right so that will probably be done like probably within an hour or so um you said tell me they're difficult so do you feel like this version the last version was too easy or too hard like for the user, for the CPU, because that's kind of what makes it hard to balance. And a lot of the a lot of the feedback I get is mixed. Like one dude will be like, oh, bro, these are trash. I can't score. And then another guy's like, bro, the CPU never misses. And I'm like, bro, which is it like, you know, what I mean, so that makes it tough, especially when you're listening to a lot of the feedback. Um, but like a lot of the stuff that I changed, it was not that different. It was just had a lot to do with, uh, a lot to do with the, um, the tendencies, you know, I'm trying to get them to stop taking stupid shots, um, you know, that they take. And then after this, I'm going to test, uh, do some testing with the, uh, with the ATD roster. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I plan on, like I said, I got some stuff to do tomorrow. I might be, uh, you know, watching Sunday Night Football, all that good stuff. Um, so I won't be able to stream 2K tomorrow unless something happens. Then I might be able to stream tomorrow, but I don't know. Probably not. Um, so worst case scenario, we'll be back um, on Monday to stream some 2K. But you guys will already have the sliders already. Yeah, so in terms of the CPU playing smart, you notice with the sliders, I pumped up the play calling, um, or not the play calling, the run plays tendency. They are not really going to be any better unless you switch rosters. Like, that's just 2K. Whenever you're using default rosters, they literally, like, are dumb. Like, I was playing against the Nuggets. I was in the third quarter. Jokic literally had six points and was three for three. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they literally just were not giving Jokic the ball. So unless you switch to a different roster, that, you know what I mean? That is the only way to get the CPU, like, literally running the sets they're supposed to run just because the playbooks are literally garbage out of the box. But once you you involve something like ATD in it, uh, you know, that's when you can, you know, like, for example, last year, like, that's when we really, I felt, took, like, took that next step. I tell you guys all the time, sliders are great. 
but uh, the ATD rosters are even better. Um, Curtis, when I update the, I, well, this is my point. So I haven't tried the ATD rosters yet. I have no idea how the sliders will play with them. This update that I'm doing right now is just going to be for the normal joints, you know, with the tendency edits. Uh, once we get this playing good, I'm going to download the ATD rosters and see what they've done because I know they changed tendencies too. I got to look into what they've done. But the number one thing we want from the ATD rosters is their freaking playbooks. That's what, like, you know what I mean? They change all the play initiators, get the play playbooks right. That's the biggest addition um, from theirs. And then the tendencies, we got to see how they match with what we've done because we won't have to globally edit the rosters um, for anything like that. Um, you know, once we... You know, once once we we have a, a good base, uh, Dev, I I'm off 2K23. I'm I'm strictly 24 at this point. Um, so I'm just trying to get 20. I think 23 is a little bit better right now. If I'm being honest, I think 23 with rosters and sliders are better than 24 with rosters and sliders. But I'm working to get 24 up to speed, and uh, we're already making good progress. Just a, attacking a lot of the BS. Um, but we still got it. We, we're still in beta. We we got a ways to go for the first version. And uh, I'm taking my time with it. Um, I'm taking my time with it. And I, I you know, because I, I really think, you know, we can get the game playing good. But like I said, a lot of my issues with 24 are not, you know, slider related issues. It's like physics based issues, like mechanics based issues um, that, you know, kind of pisses me off when it comes to. uh to 24 so um so yeah guys be on the lookout for that um like i said i, I got a lot of work uh, to do with with that um but i've already made a lot of progress from our last update last week so stay tuned for that that'll be up in an hour or so um think you guys will like you know what i did you know we just added a lot of cool stuff so thanks everybody pulling up to the stream um shoot you know make sure you like the stream on the way out helps a ton you know just get people watching it um yeah guys shoot i'll be around you guys know best way to hit me is on twitter i'm always on twitter at shady mike gaming um i'll be putting more videos and crap up um stay tuned for an update for the sliders um to access the sliders make sure you guys join the channel dollar you got you know you guys know i think it's worth it oh um, yeah i'll catch y'all next one it's your boy shady signing out peace threes